Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. You believe that high we ask tonight that your glory will fill this place and we ask tonight that you be enthroned in our lives I pray that you bless your people scattered all around this place and across different nations of the world different parts of this nation bless lift equip build let there be healings, let there be deliverances. I pray, O oh God, that your people will experience the fullness of your power. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. You're very welcome. Please be seated. I want us in one minute to just appreciate all those following us online. They may not be able to see us, but... They can hear our clap. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's honor them. Thanks to the power of technology. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Tonight, I want your spirit to be very sensitive. I want to, it's a prayer meeting. We're going to pray tonight. But I want to share with you a few things that I consider will truly truly empower us you know i i sat back and i was thinking today just thinking of the the topics the teachings that god has brought from this place to the body of christ especially to us here different aspects of the life of the kingdom from prayer to excellence to success to spirituality to warfare to finances to family life the lord has been lavish granting us access to deep secrets the mysteries of the kingdom i was teaching the school of ministry students and um, i taught them something that i think is is, is good for us to know i said um, every true apostolic ministry 
must be able to communicate a dimension of the revelation of God to a generation in every dispensation there is a dimension of the dealings of God that he apportions for that generation to know about him and it is part of the apostolic ministry to be able to capture that dimension of the understanding of God that he has apportioned for a people and to be able to accurately teach God's people so that they having that understanding will come into that experience praise the Lord and um, honestly God has been faithful to us granting us access every time I sit back and I listen to the testimonies I look at the lives of so many people here and looking at the things that God has done what God is doing I get text messages every day from people across several parts of this nation around the world just communicating their gratitude for what the teachings the meetings have done and for me I am deeply deeply humbled and tonight he will show us that path again never be tired of learning the mysteries of the kingdom the mysteries of the kingdom are the secrets of God the mysteries of the kingdom are how men rise that's how men become powerful in this system hallelujah Paul said I went up by revelation not by desire I went up by revelation so when you access the truths of the kingdom they have a way of making you powerful it is God's design that in every territory scattered across the earth there will be men and women who have paid the price to be his image bearers in reality that at every given point of our lives and our environment that he must find an envoy somebody that can allow the multifaceted possibilities of God to find expression within a given territory the kingdom only comes when God is able to find sufficient men who have aligned themselves sufficiently to his purposes through knowledge and obedience when you can find a man who has paid that price of alignment then you see the beauty of the power and the glory of God displayed within a territory the revelation of God that is seen in a territory is not all that God is it is the limitation that the aligned vessels have provided he will have to work with the vessels that are available at any given time are we together now so God can step into a place like Zaria and never be able to manifest his healing dimension never be able to manifest himself as a deliverer that does not mean he cannot heal it doesn't mean he cannot deliver but the level of alignment it takes for a vessel to allow him release that possibility he cannot find it so he will have to make do with what is available but happy and blessed is any man who pays the price of alignment to be able to be an effective host of God's glory allowing every dimension of God that he desires to find expression to find expression and this personally is the theme for my life that there will be nothing God seeks to do in a territory that he would not be able to do just because I am not aligned enough and so we continue to press daily we press through knowledge we press through desire we take advantage of his grace and mercy it's like a ladder we keep climbing and we are being transformed we are being enlarged our capacities are, are we experience that expansion in the spirit and we are able to host more of him then you find out that your life becomes an effulgence of a sign and a wonder the reality of that immortal dimension of the workings of God in your life starts becoming glaring it becomes clear to people that this is not a normal human being and they are not lying because divinity is swallowing you up gradually and you are beginning to manifest possibilities of someone who is obviously under the influence of a spirit like you see someone manifesting under the anointing ordinarily you don't have the capacity to move in that kind of speed when you see someone manifesting unusual strength you know that that is another agency through him 
every time you align in the spirit you help to advance the purposes of god let me tell you something god is searching for men he still is searching for men never should we wallow in that deception that because there are many churches there are many programs happening it means that god is finding a people no alignment is not something that um is a costly exercise it's a costly sacrifice alignment is one of the hardest things for a believer to do because it will require pruning it will require death it will require discipline it will require commitment it will cost you your tears it will cost you your appetites but the end thereof is glory so the bible says that i reckon that the sufferings of this present time right romans 8 and verse 18 i reckon i come to terms with the fact that the sufferings the constraints of this present time you are on your way to becoming something there is a revelation in the heart of the father that you should become and he says on your way to becoming that thing there will be constraints you will cry it will cost you are we together now obedience is costly very costly and so it will constrain you and when that happens he says for i reckon that the sufferings of this present time he gives you hope he says it's not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in you when you watch a woman pregnant the constraints she may have to spit when she doesn't have to spit she may have to go through all kinds of constraints but give her nine months in that condition the moment she gives birth to a child she becomes an object of celebration people come around to look at the miracle of another life through a woman that's how people will gather around your life one day and wonder the level of alignment it would take to manifest the kind of anointing and glory that you're manifesting listen let me tell you something spending time in the presence of god has value in every wise it has monetary value it has influence value it has time redemption value there is no time spent in the presence of god that is a waste away with that religious proposition that people bring that when you wait in god's presence you are busy people stay in god's presence and they are looking at their watches as though they have something to do most of the things we seek can only be found in his presence only be found in his presence it pays to wait and while we wait it pays to hear him because for every time he speaks he redeems your future for every time he speaks he grants you access to rise that ladder of power that ladder of grace hallelujah it says grace and peace be multiplied through the knowledge not just through your desire grace unction we want power we want to see the glory of god the effulgence of his person only a lazy and unserious student will attend lectures for four weeks and say i'm tired no you continue why because there is a goal you know that one day you aim for something and so like a man who wants to win the olympic you press you press there are times that you will have to go for the lectures in the rain but you overlook the inconveniences of the moment are we together i want you to pray in one minute and cry and say lord i'm here again continue the training continue the dealing make me wiser make me better let me encounter another dimension of your anointing another dimension of your glory spirit of the living god i have come tonight to align myself the more this is the school of the spirit i have come make me powerful open my eyes activate my senses in the spirit
place something upon my life that my generation will live to celebrate let me not pass as an ordinary person let a deposit of eternity be upon me mm. do something in my life that will cost me it will it will last me my lifetime i have come to eat of the bread of the spirit this is bethel the place where the spirit of god will grant you fresh manna fresh manna fresh manna he told the prophet eat for the journey is far you will need that mystery you will need that revelation the fierceness of life will not allow you to learn in the face of battle you will need to be prepared the fierceness of life will not allow you to be searching for mysteries when the trouble comes you must be equipped so that before it comes you know what to apply that you have capacity to read the writings on the wall and know what to do and what to say he said jesus himself knew what to do hallelujah please sit down listen it is costly to start looking for answers when the trouble comes you see sometimes the trouble has the capacity of destroying you and will not give you a chance to learn what law to overcome you prepare for battle before battle you don't prepare for battle during battle are we together don't wait until they tell you your wife cannot give birth and then you now run and try to find the mysteries that can be able to navigate another path and cause your wife to give birth don't wait until they drive you from work and then you now say what is the mystery of favor again no you are too late surround yourself with mysteries like chariots so that when the devil fires his arrow before it gets to you a revelation you have in store will arise the the shield listen that shield is a defense whether you are sleeping or awake you have a bad dream you are not even praying a scripture just fires from your dream realm he shall keep his angels charge over me don't react to things when they come are we together now yes don't wait until the day they tell you oh something happened and you are now panicking no god is equipping us with the mysteries that will prepare us so that nothing surprises you someone comes and meets you and says we're in trouble and you say what happened rain washed our house you say glory be to god don't worry there is a system in the spirit where we can remedy for that constraint listen your confidence in life is based on the the mysteries of the kingdom that you are equipped with fear is a product of ignorance you will always be afraid when you perceive that you are not in control of a situation this is the reason for fear you never fear anything you have control over ignorance gives the devil control over every aspect of our lives so we don't know whether we are going to live or die we say we don't know whether we'll be rich or poor we don't know whether we'll be successful or failures we don't know whether people will favor us or not god cannot keep you to walk in a system surrounded by such confusion and ignorance and then tell you to not fear no the antidote to fear is knowledge knowledge so that when your uncle looks at you and says i can't help you again i'm sorry you know how you say uncle thank you thank you for what you have done so far because you have a mystery that every good and perfect gift comes from above it only comes through men not from men so if one man is not available heaven is still available and he can find another man that revelation alone settles you so you are not jumping around and saying, uncle what can we do that's a foolish and stupid way of speaking it's like going to a filling station all fuel comes from the ground not the filling station so if the filling station packs up we know that there's still fuel in nigeria all you need to do is look for another filling station are we together now may god grant us knowledge see the bible says wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability 
once you find out that your life is a product of fear and panic it's not because you are young or old it's not because you are a civil servant or a businessman it's not because you are living in the north or south uh -uh. it's because you have not sustained the understanding that gives you confidence nobody is born with confidence it's a resultant effect of something joy is a product of something that you know fear is a product of something that you know or something that you don't know hallelujah please sit down I have such passion to see us grow in the spirit so we don't just deceive ourselves and say I'm a spiritual man a spiritual man is not is not something ambiguous there are exact standards that can measure spirituality spirituality is not something that one man hides in the pocket and say I am spiritual no there are clear spiritual standards if they have been met you are spiritual if they have not been met you are not spiritual it's as simple as that hallelujah that's why we labor to make sure that the atmosphere is set week in week out because we know that someone's destiny is dependent on what is shared here someone's life is dependent on what is shared here this is an issue of life and death it's not just an issue of a voluntary thing no it says they are alive to those who find them that means those who don't find them can die are we together now life is spiritual that's why the bible says everything listen it says everything that is done in the house of god must be done from a standpoint of spiritual mindedness this is not my teaching but i just felt a need to do that everything in the house of god must be consecrated and it must be done under the influence of the anointing otherwise it will add to jeopardizing the atmosphere and not allow god's presence find expression if you are a cleaner in the house of god you must clean under the anointing to contribute to making the atmosphere set you can't say i'm not a member of prayer department i'm just a keyboardist this thing this gentleman is playing is not just music if his personal secret place his personal altar has a problem the sound that will come out from there will obstruct what god is doing in your spirit he will be playing the same thing and wonder why it's not edifying you because he's playing his secret place amplifying it to people he's not playing music a gentleman holding a camera like this and is not doing it spiritual you will be surprised at what dimension of interruption such canality can provide in the spirit and stop the anointing of the spirit I'm, I'm, he can do his work but if it is not done spiritually the protocol people standing if they are just standing like employed people you see that's why you are a pastor here let me teach you a big secret value spirituality more than talent and gifts talent and gifts are secondary to spirituality nobody should serve in the house of god just because he's talented no your talent is inconsequential as far as your spirituality is concerned talent only becomes useful when you are dealing with spiritual people so we have our churches and our groups and ministries full of very very gifted people but all kinds of spiritual obstructions you see someone who hold a mic beautiful voice but you can't tell why your spirit is resisting what is coming from him you love the song but something about the voice there is no physical reason why your spirit should not receive it something about an atmosphere that he or she is carrying or not carrying is responsible for that that's why we pray that's why we wait in his presence it's not just to increase skill it's so that we can come with the atmosphere of heaven 
and everything that is communicated to you even if it is something you have had before it comes with a fresh anointing it comes with a fresh atmosphere and it can cause transformation you are not in ministry if you cannot host the presence of God no any church anybody that cannot host the presence of God in their meetings capture the presence of God is a cinema it's a complete waste of time so everything must be done under the anointing we have trained the workers and we still encourage them all the time be spiritual as an usher you are not just holding people under the anointing you are not just cleaning seats you are spiritual are we together now someone's destiny is dependent on the spirituality of your service not just your service the spirituality of it someone's destiny is dependent on the spirituality of my teaching my preaching not just the dispensing of gifts but the spirituality of it that's what can bring the transformation and bring the miracles I just thought that it's good that we remind ourselves it's not so much about skill it's not so much about action but the the fire the passion the presence the glory that backs up what we do that's what produces the results tonight I want to teach very briefly on the altar of prayer pay attention I'm going to share something with you that will bless your life the altar of prayer I want us to understand the mystery of altars Oh, speak from the heavens and the earth will see. Oh, speak from the heavens and the earth will hear. My altar is calling you. Oh, God, my altar is calling you. Oh God, my altar is calling me. Oh God, take my praise. Oh God, take my praise. Hallelujah. Listen. The body of Christ is full of a lot of ignorance when it comes to the issue of prayer when it comes to the issue of warfare when it comes to the issue of the interaction between the realm of the spirit and the earth realm there is gross ignorance in the body of Christ as to the mysteries that are responsible for these operations that's what I've been seeking to do to teach us and help us understand how men can contact the realm of the spirit because man by design is the only entity that on legal grounds has the authorization to make contact with the realm of the spirit and make contact with the physical realm at will every other entity needs a system of authorization are we together now altars most people do not know what altars are and for most people when you hear altar you just think oh it's just these ignorant prayer ministries around that are just looking for a way you you will die like a chicken when you are ignorant of the mystery of altars there is no great man who does not understand this whether he admits it openly or not is a different thing but let me tell you there is no man doing business in this kingdom or in the secular world who does not understand the mystery of altars pay attention to what you will learn and you will see triumph in 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 ways that will shock you
an altar is a system of authorization I want to share a few things with you about altars an altar is a system of authorization an altar is not just a monument it is a system of authorization an altar is a platform write it down where the realm of the spirit makes contact with the physical realm on legal grounds an altar is a platform where the realm of the spirit makes contact with the physical realm on legal grounds i'm taking out time for us to write this because i want us to understand it i said an altar is a system of authorization and then an altar is a platform where on legal grounds the realm of the spirit is allowed to make contact with the physical realm there are other illegal routes there are other illegitimate platforms but the legitimate platform where the realm of the spirit can find expression in this realm is an altar because according to the law of territory a spirit or an entity cannot enter another entity another territory without the configuration to suit that territory for instance a spirit should not be in the earth without a body that's against the law of territory if you must function in the earth realm as a territory you must have a body are we together now so every spirit including god is at the mercy of a body or an altar to find expression in a territory The first death recorded in the Bible happened on account of altars. Two men, brothers, went to offer sacrifices and all of them created platforms. That was way before the Old Testament. Adam had access to mysteries and he taught his children how to invoke the presence of God. And it's not the way it is today there and then you will know whether what you did worked or not and the bible says abel did something and cain did something too and all of a sudden the sacrifice of abel ascended the heavens are we together now and then for cain nothing happened and then cain killed his brother and blood spilled upon the earth and he thought it was over but the bible told us that discussion continued in the realm of the spirit something about that activity called the presence of God and God said okay there is a discussion going on in heaven but this discussion is between me and blood so what is going on he said am I my brother's keeper I said ah, don't tell lies there is a witness standing in heaven here that blood a symbol of an altar is granted me authorization to probe you and because of that I'm going to curse you judgment still happened even after abel died listen very carefully to what i'm teaching you supernatural system of authorization an altar let me give you one more definition is where covenants are activated and maintained an altar is the platform where covenants are both activated and maintained a covenant cannot work without an altar it is an altar that gives life to a covenant it's impossible for altars to work covenants to work without an altar an altar is like the battery that powers this gadget for instance the potentials of this gadget is only seen when you slot in the battery that's what an altar is it gives life to a covenant now write this down please altars can be physical monuments altars can be institutions and altars can be people altars can be physical monuments like we had in the Old Testament they would erect stones altars can be institutions like the Jerusalem temple that was built by Solomon 
he said oh god if anybody faces this temple and prays hearken to that person's prayer not because of the rightness of the prayer but a covenant that was enacted there and an altar was raised to that effect the reason why salvation the covenant of salvation can work is because there is an altar that was erected not just in the earth in heaven the book of hebrews tells us that jesus the high priest carried his blood to the most holy place in heaven and poured it upon an altar that is still speaking today that is the basis upon which whoever calls upon the name of the lord whether in you are sleeping whether you are awake it kicks that reality you will be saved because there is an altar that eternally secures that there are many platforms that god has created to allow spirit entities to find expression in the earth realm to come and assist men to come and empower men but if we do not understand those platforms then we will not be able to take advantage of it and one of it is what i'm talking about tonight an altar of prayer as a system of authorization an altar of prayer as a mystery that on legal grounds authorizes the realm of the spirit to influence the activities of men here in the earth realm please write this down the most accurate measure of the health of your spiritual life is your prayer life the most accurate measure of the health of your spiritual life is your prayer life not bible study no sir the most accurate measure of how healthy your spiritual life is is your prayer life no matter what else is working in your life if your prayer life is dead then you are not spiritual are we together anyone can preach anyone can teach but not everyone can pray never forget this it's very easy to preach very easy to teach but it's a sacrifice to pray any and everyone can preach any and everyone can teach but not everyone can pray because prayer is a sacrifice is a mystery let me tell you something God is so meticulous about the revelation of altars that he rules the world sitting on an altar the very throne room is like a shrine surrounded with mysteries the epicenter of the throne room is the very throne that he sits upon that throne you see is an altar it's what makes him the ancient of days he sits upon that altar and manipulates things according to his predetermined counsel doesn't have to walk around heaven to find out who is rebellious there is a system that has been designed to ensure order an altar anyone who will walk in true dominion must function from the standpoint of an altar everyone who seeks to walk in true dominion must function from the standpoint of an altar tonight we are particularly looking at the altar of prayer the ministry of prayer is one that is largely hated by many either because of the spiritual energy that it involves or because of the sacrifice and the discipline that is involved in the ministry of prayer but scattered around scripture all through the bible are scriptures that encourage believers to pray and it makes them understand that their lives and their victories dependent on it in luke chapter 18 verse 1 the bible says he spake this parable to the end that means the goal of this parable was to teach men a lesson and the lesson is that men ought always to pray and not to faint always always not a circumstantial activity men ought 
always to pray and not to faint in matthew chapter 21 when you read from verse 13 the bible says jesus entered the temple and he saw people buying and selling and doing all kinds of things in the temple and he was angry and in verse 13 chapter 21 he scattered everywhere and said my house shall be called a house of prayer my house shall be called a house of prayer it's impossible to be a man of prayer and ignore the word but it's possible to be a man of the word and ignore prayer when the devil wants to deceive you he makes you look like you have an option to choose between prayer and the word and then he indoctrinates you and carries takes advantage of your passion for knowledge and keeps you to be cold and dry and lukewarm and all of a sudden you begin to search scriptures like a philosopher and there is no power no grace no efficiency every great ministry starts from the altar of prayer any ministry that does not start as a prayer ministry will not last it's impossible the ministry of jesus started as a prayer ministry the moment he was filled with the holy spirit he was driven of the spirit 40 days and 40 nights traveling in prayer and the bible says he returned in the power of the spirit all of a sudden his fame began to spread devils will fly around and say no 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 no! you have come to destroy us before our time the ministry of prayer in james chapter 5 verse 16 please give it to us james chapter 5 verse 16 i want you to understand this tonight is an admonishment and then we're going to pray james 5 verse 16 he says confess your faults to one another and pray for one another that he may be healed then he says the effectual prayer of a righteous man he says avail it much avail it much amplified says it is dynamic in its working it can produce results and we're going to examine these results that the prayer of a believer is not just an empty talk it's not just an exercise in futility it's not just a religious system to feel spiritual that every time men pray there is an effect now theologically speaking the classic scripture that is used to represent the activity of altars is Genesis chapter 28 we are not turning there for time's sake but many of us know it I'm just giving you a little theological background um, Abraham had passed across a region and the Bible says that he set up an altar there and many years later Jacob his son are we together now a son in the flesh now a, a generation now was passing that place and the night time came and he felt look let me just lie down and sleep and the Bible says he put stones together and laid down to sleep he didn't pray for an encounter he didn't beg for an encounter the moment he slept the Bible says his eyes were open and he saw strange activities happening the angels ascending descending it was like a, a portal a ladder and at the top of it was God himself and he was surprised when he woke up he said wow this is a portal this is the gate of heaven I saw something that happened a portal an altar the Lord was in this place and I knew not now watch this is because Jacob slept there and recorded his experience that we know that that place had an effect do you know that whether or not Jacob slept there you can be passing peacefully and for whatever reason cross across that place and something happens to you all of a sudden you find out that the sickness just disappeared you didn't pray now you are wondering what happened now you don't know it was jacob's experience that helped us to understand that there was such a thing the same way elijah when he was about to leave he knew that there was a, an exact portal that can take men physically he went beyond the jordan and he said elijah asked i'm about to leave and right before his eyes he saw chariots when jesus was about to levitate to go to heaven he knew exactly where to stand when he, they watched him and he began to rise 
there are physical portals in the earth that open up to the realm of the spirit not visions physical places a man can stand there today and have encounters whether you are the prophetic or not which is understand this many people understand this i wish i had time to teach you on altars because i would teach you that one of the natural ways of establishing an altar is consistency of a practice within a region it opens up an altar consistency of practice within a region that that atmosphere is spiritually acclimatized the moment you practice something consistently you attract the spirit dimension of that thing to come and find out what is going on so if i keep killing people in a particular region i don't need to invite any spirit i create a portal the moment a spirit comes in partnership with me that becomes an altar that's why in many regions many campuses they have different regions some have prayer mountains some have we used to have years ago um, in the campus there somewhere they call lawn tennis court that was a physical solid portal that's where you see people carry their rechargeable and their socks for mosquitoes and go there and lie down and say oh god if you don't help me i'm dead and by the next morning there is a miracle you find people just mind their business standing and start shaking because activities over many years there were people making use of that ground and it became sanctified angelic activities became so much there it was it was like how you do home cell because there are visitations and many members are within a region you dedicate a place and say look all of you within this region you can freely find expression here consistency can open up a portal are you learning something tonight that's how many of our parents made our homes certain portals every time they continued doing certain things and they did not know when they invited the spirit dimensions you see let me tell you consistency attracts the realm of the spirit consistent ask those who practice other religions you know how they invoke spirits enchantments the same word repeated over a long period of time how do they celebrate traditional festivals in many villages the people keep dancing doing the same thing for hours and then it becomes like they are supercharged at a point the spirit component of that activity has come i like you to say lord open my eyes say it open my eyes open my eyes there is a law in the dealings of God with men and he says whatever you yield yourself to he says you will become a slave of that thing have, have you have you are we together if I practice obedience consistently I have yielded my members to obedience I become a slave to obedience are we together now you see watch this if I steal this handkerchief watch this if I steal this handkerchief out of my volition it's not enough to bring the spirit of theft in my life no if I do it again and I do it again that I don't know I'm invoking a mystery by my consistency a time will come the spirit that operates on men will say i'm being invited within a territory it will look for the territory where the physical dimension of what is bringing it is the same way if i begin to pray i may not feel comfortable but as i'm praying i'm invoking a dimension of the operation of the spirit of the spirit of prayer and supplication a day will come in that place that dimension will be revealed in me supernaturally are you learning something because you see not all altars were consciously built but they are still altars so it is when I say altars that are destroying you 
it doesn't mean you have to go to your village and waylay your uncle and say if you don't tell us what you have done we will beat you no he may be innocent this is where the prophetic ministry must be guided because every time we talk of altar they think it must be traceable to a real experience no the mysteries that you do consistently are building altars and they eventually become invitations for spirits whether the spirit of god or any kind of demon spirit have you had an experience i'm not saying you should do it but you've seen it in ministries where somebody can come no church service just enter the church and come and lie down on the altar and roll maybe for a child and go back and have triplets now question was anybody preaching but because the the power and the presence of god has found expression upon that ground for a long time you have invited you have invoked a dimension whether service is at work or not that portal remains open all that it takes is your faith once your faith meanders that atmosphere it happens to you samuel was an altar he didn't have an altar he was an altar you never came near samuel and went back to say no a young man came around samuel and stood naked prophesied morning till night that's an altar when saul went and met samuel they were looking for the donkey as soon as they saw samuel they knew their lives were going to be altered i told you altars are not just physical monuments you can be an altar and that's one of the things that prayer does you don't build a monument your life becomes the activation of seven listen the beauty of prayer is not just for you to continue talking for the rest of your life but that you get to a state of consistency where even in your silence listen you have become an altar spiritual activities can be happening around you so that as a living altar i activate possibilities just by walking you come around me and something happens to you i didn't directly pray for you you didn't even know you had that problem but an atmosphere that i was carrying implicated you why is prayer important why do we have to build an altar of prayer three reasons very quickly number one prayer is God's authorized system of communion and fellowship with him write it down prayer is God's authorized system of communion and fellowship with him the Bible is very clear that the communion of the spirit the fellowship of the spirit what we call koinonia must be at work in the life of anyone to do business with God and that system of koinonia is through prayer prayer is one of God's authorized system not the only authorized system but one of the major authorized system for communion and fellowship Luke chapter 6 let's take a few scriptures very quickly Luke chapter 6 and verse 12 please give it to us Luke chapter 6 and verse 12 then we'll look at Matthew 26 verse 36 and down to 39 is actually to 44 but we'll stop at 39 quickly Luke chapter 6 verse 12 look up everyone please it says and it came to pass those days speaking about Jesus now that he went out into a mountain to pray and continued all night in prayer to God communion Jesus was not just praying prayer requests like we do during miracle service remember he was God he still is God but he went to spend time all night communing communing give us Matthew Matthew 26 and verse 36 Matthew 26 verse 36 then come at Jesus with them listen 
this was uh, his passion was about to start then come at jesus with them unto a place called gethsemane and said unto the disciples sit here while i go and pray yonder and let's watch what the bible calls prayer and he took from him peter and the two sons of zebedee and began to be sorrowful and very heavy 38 then he said unto them my soul is exceedingly sorrowful even unto death tarry here and watch with me please continue quickly and he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed saying saying this sounds like a communication a conversation my father if it be possible let this call pass off me when you read down to verse 44 he prayed the same thing three times prayer is God's authorized system of communion not just a platform for petitions prayer is how power is transferred to men is an authorized system of communion is your spiritual system of intimacy and intercourse in the place of prayer that's where the exchange happens between divinity Jesus was filled with the Holy Spirit but never manifested the power of the Holy Ghost after prayer the Bible says he returned not full of the Spirit but in the power of the Spirit In Luke 17 don't turn there John 17 sorry Jesus himself began to communicate with the father as usual and he says father the hour has come watch communion to prayer the hour has come glorify thy son that thy son will bring glory to you and then he began to converse look at all the platforms till today listen till today how Jesus advocates for believers in heaven is still through prayer. The Bible says he's seated at the right hand of the Father and he makes intercession for the saints. Why will you intercede when you are already seated by the right hand? It's a system. It's not about proximity. It's a system of communion and communication. If you are not a man of prayer you are not a woman of prayer you can be sure that the reality of communion and fellowship with the Holy Ghost that reality you see let me tell you something if you are not open to prayer you will never understand what we are saying you would think it's just um, I'm not just talking of corporate prayer corporate prayer is great but you must have the secret place that's where he comes to meet with you that's when he tells you things he cannot tell any other person the reason why you don't hear God is because you are not used to his voice in the secret place he has not trained you to hear him so you hear everything and you call it him I was counseling a couple some I think I don't know if it was last week and um, the mother was outside and the father came in with the daughters maybe they are even here listening to me and they held a little baby as soon as the baby shouted from outside the mother identified the voice and came to check what was happening with the baby and i said koinonia that's intimacy because there is a union that baby is sucking from the same mother their interaction the mother did not train herself to hear the voice she was implicated by that koinonia so anywhere she, there were many people families with their children but when she had her own he said my sheep hear my voice my sheep hear my voice meaning if you cannot ask hear his voice find out whether you are his sheep or not don't assume you are his sheep assumption is costly in the school of intimacy you must verify that there is contact between you and God there are pastors that don't pray so they get angry they think the manifestation of the power of god is magic there are dimensions impartation will not give you you must dig your well by yourself you must create an altar a system you must gain mastery in the realm of the spirit you must be used to the spiritual communication that has been act is is like a tailor-made system of god reaching you god must know how to reach you on serious informations 
God must know how to reach you on trivial informations. He must train your organs of interaction with the realm of the spirit. That place of training is the secret place. I will never trade anything for my time with him. That's where men are built. That's where there is an exchange. See, let me tell you. Holding a mic and teaching is not difficult. Holding a mic and preaching is not difficult. But communicating life, that one is a derivative of your altar. That's why we sleep in church. That's why our churches are full of dry bones. From the preacher to those listening. All dry bones. People stand and talk. They say something that should bless you and you wonder why it doesn't bless you. Because there is no altar. They are standing unassisted by the realm of the spirit. Number two, quickly. Why do we need the altar of prayer? Prayer creates a legal platform for God. Prayer creates a legal platform for God, angels, and the spirit realm to gain entrance and access. Prayer creates a legal platform. Mark the word legal. It has to be legal. The realm of the spirit is a legal realm. The dealings of God with men are on legal grounds. That's why God could not just pronounce men justified. The system had to be followed to the latter. Prayer creates a legal platform for God, angels, and the spirit realm to gain entrance or access and intervene in the affairs of men and offer assistance to men. Whichever you want to write a platform for entrance legally I know that many of you are surprised why should God Almighty need the cooperation of a man to step into the realm he limited himself in the creation of man let me show you two scriptures that I think will bless you Psalms 115 verse 16 it's a popular scripture in the body of Christ Psalms 115 and verse 16 then give us Ezekiel 22 from verse 30 to 31 psalms 115 verse 116 can we read it together one to read the heaven even the heavens other versions say the heaven of heavens are the lord's read on but the earth as a territory has he given to where watch this let me give you a little explanation if if a Jimmy has a house are we together and he decides to rent that house to me now it is true that it is still his house but does he have a right to just enter anytime again no even if he comes to that house although it is your house but there is a legal transaction that happened between me and you so even as the landlord you will still knock and I have a right to tell you you are disturbing my privacy and you will still go so God is still the Lord of all creation but he carved out a domain of his kingdom apportioned it to man and it became scripturally incorrect for God to come to the earth without a man permitting him that's why the Holy Spirit had to move Michael Gabriel to come and ask for permission from Mary before Jesus entered her womb Mary could not just see her womb. No, 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 no. It was a discussion. This is what we want to do. Can your womb be available? The, what was the permission? Be it unto me. I authorize you. How shall these things be? Don't worry about the dynamics. Your womb will just. Don't be surprised when you find out your stomach is just protruding. Be it unto me. And he had to go to Joseph and say, Joseph, you are about to see something strange in your wife. Now, I know that is going to shock you, but please, please, please don't drive her. There is a mystery she's carrying and Joseph calmed down. Look at how God had to go to the relevant people to ask for permission. Permission, one by one. While he was doing that, he was breathing upon Anna the prophetess to keep praying. Breathing on Simeon in the temple to keep praying. 
John the Baptist who will baptize and ordain Jesus his father wanted to play with redemption he thought he was just playing with a sacrifice an angel appears to him and says mr man your wife is going to have a child the name is john and he, met, he spoke one kind of nonsense and heaven said no 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 this guy would disallow us shut his mouth he's a priest meaning he, there is a grace for him to operate in that priestly office shut his mouth so that he will not say anything because words are padlocks and are keys it can disallow and allow realities so he said shut his mouth this this guy wants to spoil this thing we are doing and they shut his mouth not as wickedness as a strategy to make sure john arrives so that jesus will be commissioned when john was born they said what shall we name him the wife said john they said no we've not had this name then they went to the dumb father now mr man what was the last thing when you spoke with the angel what did you hear and he wrote on the book john is that a prayer and his mouth opened god said now you can say anything you want to say you have authorized heaven now watch this look how hard it is for god to find expression in the earth he must go around that's why i taught you about the gift of men god cannot be the author of death knowing how hard it is to find a man and find expression through him for 430 years god was busy preparing the man who will be a deliverer not if he promised abraham captivity for 400 years but even god became limited for 30 extra years until moses was trained are you blessed john the baptist found himself in the wilderness the requirement to ordain jesus he ate locusts and wild honey had sheep camel you know clothes and all of that and he came out and started baptizing baptized jesus christ and that was all and jesus began his ministry listen every time it looks like darkness is prevailing over your life it is not that god is limited it is because you have not understood that until heaven is authorized god can do nothing about it the heaven of heavens belong to the lord the earth has he given to the sons of men elijah knew this that everything under the heavens was within the jurisdiction of men and he didn't go to beg god he went and said i lock up because this cloud that brings rain is under the heavens so i lock it up and i put the key in my pocket listen to what he said there would not be rain except at my word but the bible james apostle james had a revelation of what he did he said don't think he just spoke grammar he went and locked himself and prayed endlessly he was a man of like passion but he allowed god ezekiel chapter 22 verse 30 and 31 please quickly many of us have not been assisted by the spirit realm simply because we do not know that we have a role we have a role to creating the portal that grants us access to assistance and i sought for a man among them listen who is talking here god through his prophet why will god be looking for men with over how many people at, at that time in the earth and is still applicable to us today I sought for a man among them that should make up what a hedge a gap they have violated something they invoked a mystery that will force me now to punish them but in my kindness I'm searching for a man who can make me change my mind but I'm not finding any therefore don't blame me when your family remains poor it's not that I want Satan to prevail there is something that happened in your family that lifted an altar of poverty and God keeps watching it ravage you for decades and God is saying I'm searching for a man who will rise up as an altar and cause me to act otherwise I was until I learned this 
I was surprised how God would just allow evil to happen like that. And many people say, ah, ah, but God, can't you arise? He said, when you pray, ask me that my kingdom should come. What, what kind of thing is that? Ask me, authorize me. Matthew 6, he was teaching them the Beatitudes. When you pray, part of the content of your authorization should be that the kingdom come. He said, as I hear you say before my ears, so will I do. Please leave it there. I sought for a man among them that should make up the head and stand in the gap before me. For what? Not just for an individual. For the land that I should not destroy it. But I found none. So let's see what would happen in 31. Pharaoh shall see them and shall be comforted over all his multitude. Even Pharaoh and his army slain by the sword, saith the Lord. Ezekiel 22. You are giving us a wrong scripture here. That's what I gave you, right? Ezekiel 22, 30, 31. Please correct it and let's have it quickly, media. Are we there? Please help, help whoever is working. We need some level of accuracy. The scripture, I'm looking for the scripture that, therefore, have I poured out. That is what we just read. Therefore, have I poured out my word, indignation upon them. I have consumed them with the fire of my wrath. Their own way have I recompensed upon their heads. In other words, it looks like I'm the one punishing them, but they cost it. They cost it. That means the darkness in your family, regardless of what people are saying, oh God, my name is John. We are still dying. And God is saying, don't look at me as a wicked person. I, while I'm, I'm pathetic, there is a legal system operating this operation. And somebody must arise and become a, an altar that activates something different. And then you will now see my kindness. Listen. God is not the one ruling this earth with the nonsense that is happening. There are manipulations that are sending strange incense and we are receiving assistances from strange spirits that are antichrist and they are helping to destroy the world. But he must find a people. That's why men are a serious business to God. Many of us act unassisted. Many pastors act unassisted. The realm of the spirit is available to assist. But until we call. Until we call. Pray in tongues for one minute and say, Lord, I call you. I call you into my life and into my situation. I don't assume you are aware. I authorize you. Shabras kataba segete kalabaru sasibriyasha. Lord, if you don't step in, something will go wrong in my life. My family is in trouble. For 30 years, nobody has risen in my lineage. Something is wrong. Every year, someone is dying. Yet there are prophetic words over my family. I authorize you. I authorize you. Shabras Katako Sibaria Sakatoba Shiva. Ten graduates, no one is employed. Ten ladies, no one married. All the men in the family are fed by all the women. I authorize you. I authorize you. Shabakoto Sobakai. Everyone in my family fails when a miracle is about to come, another mystery kicks in. Everyone in my family fails when a miracle is about to come, 
everyone in my family must have a child out of wedlock it happened to my grandmother it happened to my mother now the devil wants it to happen to me hallelujah please sit down listen let me tell you i studied my life i studied my lineage i studied my family and i saw things that i knew were not funny i knew that those things were activations and if i were to answer the call of god upon my life and prevail something must happen an altar gives life to a covenant i saw things happening around my life happening around my family let me tell you what most of us do we identify what is wrong then we hope that a man of god will solve it for us yes when you need a high anointing that's a different thing but many of us just complain nothing is working in my life my father graduate my mother graduate 10 of us in our family graduate nothing is working it will continue like that because there is something making God look like a wicked person I sought for a man in your family it's not that he cannot convert everybody to become a Christian I sought for a man who will raise an altar of righteousness that will allow me to do wonders wanting to deliver the nation of Israel from Egypt imagine how the heart of God bled when he saw the soldiers of Pharaoh weeping God's covenant people man who is the man that I will send in Ezekiel 37 Ezekiel stood before the dry bones I thought God would say bones come back to life he said Ezekiel you know this law of territory I can't speak and it will just happen so I will tell you I will speak from heaven to you then you speak now in the earth I prophesied as I was commanded when God spoke the bone did not move when he prophesied as he commanded all of a sudden there was a sound oh God spoke to me in a vision I, I had that dream and God said it's over and you get up and just smile you are joking it will never be over it was over in the realm of the spirit what you do with that encounter is to stand up put that word and say I legislate I agree with you Lord my prayer and my dancing and my rejoicing is my agreement that's why we have many dreams that never come to pass you see 10 over 10 in the realm of the spirit you see zero in the physical you see a job in the realm of the spirit you see demotion in the physical God told you his intention in the realm of the spirit your carelessness aborted it in the physical take seriously what I'm saying the same way you see that somebody is about to be sick or to be destroyed in your family and you get up and just keep quiet and then the day something devastating happens say, hey, I saw this thing that's a pain in the heart of God because he, he kept moving around your whole house by his spirit searching for who was alert enough to communicate to him that this is a plot from darkness when God did anything in the nation of Israel and did not tell the prophets they were angry read your Bible they say God hid this thing from me number three what is the third purpose of the altar of prayer the altar of prayer is God's authorized system for enforcing dominion God's authorized system for enforcing dominion and compliance God gave man dominion over creation it will take man exercising it and prayer is the authorized platform for enforcing dominion the Bible says we do not yet see all things under his feet so although God has said you will rise up as an international man of God 
but you will watch your life crumble to nonsense because before your arrival another altar had been raised and so it will take you enforcing dominion i may come from this family but i officially divorce myself from every nonsense that happened no the same way someone is born of a millionaire and all of a sudden the child starts enjoying the benefits even before being aware that is the implication are we together now a woman may be for instance um having a particular biological disease maybe a hepatitis or something and give birth to an innocent child and they say that child also has hepatitis did the child ask for it no genetic conditioning is the same way what stopped your father stopped your mother you laughed at them and quarreled them he's still waiting for you because until it is destroyed listen let me tell you something about altars for as long as an altar is said it's alive the covenant will keep working that's the concept of priesthood priesthood is a system to keep altars alive so that covenants will remain in force so that certain dimensions will continue to operate there are many things that will not obey you until you force them to there are many things in your life your destiny will not open up just because you think you should have a good life that's a joke it's a costly joke you will not get a job just because you got first class you will not be promoted just because you think you are due nothing is fair in this life everything that happens to you is what you force to happen through knowledge apostle life is so unfair to us in the family i sympathize with you but this is the wickedness in the world that we live in listen if you want to take your portion in this life you are going to take it by enforcing compliance your church will not grow just because you think you're a nice pastor being nice is not the seed for results the ability to exercise dominion are we together yes it takes prayer there are many people who don't pray they just get up and please come you just see someone and and he say pastor pray for me and your ego is on the line and you know that you have not sustained power with God no altar of prayer and you just believe you just lay your hand and you lay your hands in the name of Jesus the Bible says yes it said yes the Bible said but it takes your life to activate that reality the Bible says they shall lay hands on the sick God said it I believe it it settles it you are a joker you are a big joker no it doesn't settle it no it doesn't settle it there is a dynamic to manifestation let's not mock ourselves and you try to pray for this person and all of a sudden number one he's not healed number two it backfires on you are we together now all of a sudden you find out that the same thing you try to pray for him for the tragedies and calamities in his life you brought yourself through ignorance and the whole thing backfired on you we are walking in an environment that is surrounded with altars they give you a job and you enter the company you are not the ceo you are walking there you don't know what spiritual backings have been invoked over that environment until you create your own climate you will be a victim of the default climate there are people who fraternize with the devil i will employ people to work for me but they will never rise above me so if the man goes down everybody will go down to still keep him above them because it's a covenant now you got a job fresh from the university your blood is hot everybody dances around church you carry your certificate and all of a sudden you are earning three hundred thousand but you cannot bring out ten thousand you are not a drunkard 
you don't pursue women you don't know what happened and not that swallows up that thing that's what i'm telling you what has happened to many of our parents so we think the solution is promotion oh god promote me then your salary is now four hundred thousand. the effect is still the same but a woman who went to a man of god and is joining a little prayer group in her ignorance is flying akara somewhere in the junction and with that akara she trains seven children in school it's not akara she was assisted by the realm of the spirit no son you don't train children with with frying akara there you can come and meet that woman and beg her for a loan of hundred thousand and she will laugh she will say i'm coming she will enter the room and bring it out yet you claim that you are doing a white collar job and the altar fights you listen please pay attention to what i'm telling you whenever you prevail in the realm of the spirit an altar prevailed believe what i'm telling you zaria has an altar the effects of the altar in zaria is predictable you see it in the civilization of the people you see it in what happens to people the marginalizations that people never rise to certain dimensions you came to zaria and just thought it's all about going to church no you create your climate you create your climate that's why i said yeah though i walk though i walk through a valley that has the shadow of death i fear no evil because i carry another climate thy rod and thy staff they comfort me so you are in a place where people cannot live up to 40 years you know you are aware in your village you've seen people dying like chickens but you come with another order you understand that the altar of prayer is also an altar that can contend with everything and you are enjoying long life you are enjoying grace the person who married earliest in your family was 45 are we together and you look and you say no you get married then you must spend five or ten years to have your first child if you sit down and keep watching it and don't cry for assistance and don't force compliance it will never work i watch people and my heart bleeds at their perception of god which is based on their consistent sufferings they conclude that God is not a merciful God but he said I sought for a man that through the altar of prayer you can nullify certain activities legal ordinances that have been erected to speak you will be dreaming to believe there's nothing speaking against you now no sir you have lived too long to have created one by mistake you have lived too long on earth if you are up to one years old welcome to the reality of this life there has to be something speaking the bible says the sin of disobedience is like what witchcraft witchcraft what is the operation of witchcraft so we all want to rise it's a year of triumph and there is you think that the whole thing is your grandfather or grandmother and the day you hear that they are dead you rejoice the priesthood died but the altar is still alive you see that and the altar is fine and good doing well that's why you find out the solution is not just to kill people around the solution is through spiritual intelligence to lift up a spiritual fortification that vetoes everything brothers and sisters you will leave heaven on earth all of a sudden they will watch you ah, ah. you've been in zamfara for three years but you are returning as if you're in the uk you can fly to uk with that altar it will wait for you at Heathrow airport as soon as you are landing you enter and all the doors close people who never knew you are still manipulated by that altar to work against you and you thought it's just something in nigeria and at the end of it you come back after five years looking like a thief where have you been uk are you sure yes why are you like this you know the way life is 
people smuggled their way and passed through rivers and deserts all to go to Germany and UK. Whereas they think that's the greener pasture. The greener pasture is the altar you raise. That speak. That speak. That speak. Until Jesus came, there was a universal altar speaking against man. Vengeance. Vengeance. But when Jesus came, he established another altar that spoke better promises. Better things. I cannot live walking and living my life to chance and hoping that things will be all right. I know things will not be all right. If they will be all right, you must create it. You must create it. So I enforce compliance. Will the devil leave you because he thinks God anointed you? No. No. Satan is not that cheap. You are going to contend. That's why he said, put on the whole armor. Put on the whole armor. There is a devil somewhere that will destroy your life, destroy your ministry, destroy your business, destroy your destiny. You get married to a very lovely wife. You loved her with all your heart. They ask both of you, will you love yourself? You say yes. The moment you married, everybody brought their altars in holy matrimony. Now, you are nice people. This altar was designed to scatter the finances of whoever is standing with you. And all of a sudden, a good woman, but you find out that your entire life starts going down. And if you meet a, a prophet who is not sound in scripture, he will tell you your wife is the reason for your failure. Based on prophetic insight, he has seen that there is an altar associated with her. It's not a lie that is responsible for that downfall. The individual may be the nicest person in the world. But the altar will not change please hear what i'm teaching you and there are men no matter what happens if they marry maximum three years the wife must die and all of a sudden from the day the dear lady got married he may be a pastor apostle prophet how many men of god have altars fighting them they look around and they claim nothing is happening and they assume that because they took on the call for ministry God is too generous to allow them it's a joke no sir and this man gets married to this dear lady and all of a sudden she starts sleeping mysterious sicknesses she never had heart palpitations she will feel being pressed and she says my husband I don't know what is wrong I'm, I, since we got married I say, are you trying to say I'm a witch Look at what the altars are causing. Then two of them go for counseling. And they meet a man of God who is sincere but no spiritual intelligence. And he says, look, it's how marriages are. Just take it easy. Pray together. And it doesn't mean what he's saying. And they say, okay. They say, hug your wife in front of me. They now hug themselves. Hold my hand, darling. They go back home. The altars say, well, come back. By evening, that man has slapped her again. Remember, he promised in the presence of the pastor not to do it again. But the altars brothers and sisters that's why God puts meetings like this because you can be sitting down now not knowing the deliverance that is happening you just feel something left me I don't know what happened and you go back and you who would have you would have blown somebody out of anger you find out that that force that comes upon you when you are angry that can make you insult anybody is no longer there because there is an altar this ministry you see is an altar we don't have an altar this is it's, a, it's an altar that's why you can talk against it in your secret place and start going down. Nobody is aware because the altar speaks. All of a sudden, a man of God will teach them how to raise altars and they will raise an altar of prayer and come and say, look, we are not bad people. The devil is confusing us here. You are a good woman. I'm a good person. We did not negotiate where to come from. And all of a sudden, day one, Shekato Praskataya. Now watch what is happening. They are holding their hands and praying. After that day, they just feel good, but nothing really happens. I told you consistency is how spirits are attracted. Day two, Shekato the, the man doesn't want to pray. But she says, honey, remember, we're on a project here. You know what we, are, we have left at home. Let's do this thing. After one week, 
two weeks somebody starts having a dream somewhere after one week a spirit must appear to somebody somewhere and try to warn somebody an effect is being created in the realm of the spirit it's not a sign of witness you can't sit upon hot fire and act as if it's not it can't be for too long listen to me that's what is happening to some of you now it was after your seven days of prayer you had a strange dream you have never had you thought it's a sign that you are losing it's a sign of victory something is happening in the realm of the spirit all of a sudden you went to sleep and you saw a vision of your mother when she was young your father when he was young the spirit of god is trying to show you something follow him but that's when the spirit of slumber comes god keeps saying for one month wake up by two o'clock there's something i'm doing in your life after two weeks you don't wake up again you see how we cheat ourselves and you don't know that you are on the path of deliverance you reign you reign Hello, King. You reign. You reign. You reign. Hello, King. You reign. You reign. You reign. Hello, King. I promise you if you listen to what I'm teaching you tonight many of you as soon as you go back you will see the dream you will have this night the devil hates what you are hearing because this is the age-long mystery that has kept people in your family educated bodies like they are not educated a pastor you are blessing people but you never rise yourself do you know why because your victory is tied to your altar not just your service your altar I created an altar that is independent of koinonia and I said no devil will come and destroy me no no watch this please come again the two weeks we are praying Shabra Kato Soto Bash Lebre Koto Shabaya we are praying we are praying we are fasting something starts happening one day there will be a breaking point in the realm of the spirit if that prayer were two hours a day will come in to become a vigil not by not because you like it there will be you will break open a portal in the realm of the spirit and two hours prayer will become prayer till morning and your child will come and meet you and say daddy i saw a man in white and i saw the man doing something on your head spiritual activities are happening in the family all of a sudden you start seeing doors opening you love your wife like never before the devil told you the secret is to marry another one no sir you marry another one the altar is still the same there are pastors the altars that fight them anniversaries of their ministry something happens people start leaving they have raised so many people but have not been raised by themselves there are altars I've seen it fight people I've seen it fight people I know these altars fought me for years you go to sleep a strange woman appears to you and sleeps with you in the dream you get up and say sorry I don't know what is happening someone is about to marry you here comes the stranger again what is bringing the stranger have you ever asked you relocate to another house he still looks for you and comes they are about to promote you in the office all of a sudden your physical document disappears physical document how many students seated here that's the mystery behind the results you are seeing the ugly results that you are seeing you love God and you are sincere but that's the mystery behind the demonic things you see on that board you are not that dull you write your exams and go back the altars continue writing things continue writing things i know what i'm saying listen to me you hear people coming here with four points they were not born that way they have tapped into a higher covenant you see them surprised by their own results they know it's not their efforts that's why people join certain ministries 
join certain men of God see people partner with certain anointings this is the mystery of partnership when you partner with an anointing you access the covenant the covenant not the promise the covenant there are parents today the moment you are 50 years arthritis you get up one morning father cannot walk mother cannot walk their entire pension is spent on it it's not sickness it's a programming an altar is accurate with digital precision regardless of your foreknowledge it will work it will work i have seen it destroy families i have seen it destroy ministries that's why certain ministries remain small no matter how anointed they are an anointed man with fire on his head but he will not cross certain boundaries once they reach 200 something must happen a wrong news will spread around a scandal must come whether it's true or not have you not seen students their last and final exams they will go and the spirit will start moving them carry something to the exam hall they don't want to but it's an altar you are too weak to fight it you will promise that you will not take it and you take it as soon as you are sitting they just catch you and they said your entire six seven years cancelled brothers and sisters it's an altar there are families that as a family they are victims of abuse everybody mother father brothers all the daughters will eventually meet a man of god somewhere and all the man of god will do is to destroy them it will happen they are scattered in every place but their experiences are the same you will see them and like them but at the end of it you must leave them with pain they think is that the ministry is bad but the issue is the altar there are altars you give birth to men they must die they must die something must kill them no matter how healthy they are they must die brothers and sisters i have seen this evil it exists tonight we are going to pray are we together when it's time i'm not going to give you a prayer point when it's time to pray we are going to pray tonight you are going to erect many of you as you pray tonight you will see what will begin to happen to you i want us to lift up a fire in this place tonight and say lord this demon that molests me in my sleep i can't be pretending that it's not there again these animals that come to me in my sleep no i started a business well why is it that i start good things something evil must come lift your voice and pray
Come on, pray, pray, pray. Alléluia. Alléluia. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Shout it. Say in the name of Jesus. Tonight, I stand on behalf of myself and my family. And I declare that every altar that is speaking against my destiny I tear it down tonight lift your voice and pray I tear it down altars of delay altars of barrenness altars of failure Hallelujah. Please pair yourselves two two. Find find a partner and hold a hand. Be serious, please. If the person by your side is not serious, leave him alone. We're doing serious business tonight. Find a partner and hold a hand. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Every legal access I have given for these altars to speak against me knowingly and unknowingly. Tonight, I invoke the blood. Let the blood speak. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Every legal access. Every legal access. Every legal access. I have given any altar of darkness. Shabras Kata. Matele Kotosia. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Hallelujah. Hold the hands of someone else. Look for another partner. Hold the hands of someone else. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Altars of poverty. Altars of delay. Altars of failure. I speak to you. In the name of Jesus, I tear you down. Release my destiny. Release my destiny. Altars of poverty. Altars of delay. Altars of stagnation. I speak against you. I speak against you. I curse you by the God of heaven. By the God. 
God of heaven. Hallelujah. We're really praying tonight. I'm seeing blood dripping on people. God is bringing so many miracles in people. We're still praying, please. We're still praying. Shalapakaya. We're still praying. Skatabariasa. I see altars on fire. We're still praying. We are making real contact with the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Say in the name of Jesus. Altars that are territorial in nature. Fighting my destiny. Because of where I'm coming from, I prophesy tonight your hold is broken over my life. Lift your voice and pray. Altars associated with territories, associated with territories, I come against you by the God of heaven. I come against you. Pray, pray. I come against you. Hallelujah. 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 Please help those under the anointing. Hallelujah. Listen, there are some of you, your prayers were answered since many years, but it looked like it has not manifested because every time it's reaching you, an altar lifts up. We are going to call it back. Are you ready to pray? Self time in the name of Jesus. Every delayed blessing that should have happened in my life and was delayed because of these altars tonight by prophecy I call you back to my life lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray and watch the God of wonders authorize the God of heaven and watch restoration happen in your destiny restore relationships restore finances restore mantles restore ministries pray pray Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are going to call the name of your family members. Listen, I don't care how many, call it. Listen, you are going to call them one by one and say, I stand as an altar and I bring you out of this dungeon. Lift your voice and pray. Call them. Call them. Call them. Mention them by name. Call them. I bring you out of this wasteful living. Call them. Shake it, banana, my cosmos. Ente 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 to shoot. La planta scatta baranto shoot Ekete ne koto sopre ke de banana banana kasi pre ke de 
Haleluya 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 Say in the name of Jesus Be serious Say it again in the name of Jesus I speak to the east I speak to the west I speak to the north I speak to the south everywhere my favor is in the name of Jesus I command it to my life now lift your voice and pray you don't have to travel call it everywhere it is hallelujah I want you to pray listen I want you to pray and talk to God tell him Lord I'm part of this apostolic family the altar you have erected here must speak for me I want my life to show it from today lift your voice and pray pray with understanding and watch what happens to you pray with understanding pray with understanding Understanding, Lord, I inform the altar that you have with your servant. Pray with understanding. Pray with understanding. Marketos soto bo shabada, lamre neketos kosoto be seketia. I declare it. Marketos soto be seketia. hallelujah many of you may not realize what is happening to you please I don't want you to idolize this teaching no it's not about religiosity it's about proper understanding and application so it's not just coming to lie down here the, no 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 the altar is a revelation we are going to pray right now and activate back our prayer lives listen because many of us here the only time you pray is when you are together with people satan started attacking you he gave himself a five-year plan to attack your prayer life he will never attack it at once he can give himself a five-year plan and be destroying you say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that the spirit of prayer and supplication the grace to pray I receive it right now lift your voice and begin to pray fire fresh fire on my altar fresh grace to pray fresh grace to fast fresh grace to intercede for warfare I command every dead prayer life around my life come back to life come back to life
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One last prayer point and I will pray for you. There are many of us, the Spirit of God started revealing things to you because you were meeting with Him every day. But something happened. No more visitation of the secret place and that portal closed over your life. No access to illumination. You used to be, you used to have projects that you and God are on. You can literally say we are on a faith project. But now there's nothing like that. Your life has become stale and barren. Some of you is when you started ministry. This, this so-called thing called ministry. That's what destroyed you. We are going to pray a prayer of restoration. And the fire will fall upon you. I'd like you to pray. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Say Holy Spirit. I ask that you manifest yourself once again in my life holy spirit i cry for intimacy afresh with you lift your voice and begin to pray intimacy spirit of the living god do not be far from me again pray pray let it not be that you are just a stranger we were closer than this and something happened Restore that intimacy. Restore that sweet fellowship that I once had with you. Fellowship that nothing in this world could be compared with. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. I tell you there will be there will be testimonies upon testimonies I pray for you now I'm praying for you in the name that is above all names everyone hearing me and standing here whether inside or outside you have prayed if there is any altar as i speak now that is speaking against your life at the count of three i command those altars to catch fire right now please get ready the power of god will come on people one two three i command those altars now be broken be broken be broken. Be broken. I command those altars be broken. Be broken. Listen. Lift your hands. I'm challenging altars of failure. Listen. Just I'm praying for you. Don't pray. Just listen to me. Because I'm seeing people here failure it has nothing to do with academics it makes you fail in everything i stretch my hands may that fire anyone here who is a victim that altar is speaking i stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and i judge those altars now i judge those altars now i judge those altars now i judge those altars now, altars now. by fire I judge those altars now. There are altars that cause men to see things and never handle it. You see a job, they tell you it's yours. Quarter to reception, everything changes. I don't know who belongs to that category. But in the name of Jesus, the pros kataka sopen shata la para kotos kopras kadabali atakoshia inside and outside following online. Anyone who has been a victim of total failure and disappointment, right now in the name of Jesus, 
that fire comes upon you in the name of Jesus that fire comes upon you in the name of Jesus I command total deliverance help them help them please total deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ put down your hands ladies keep your hands lifted I will tell you why I'm praying for you there are many ladies let me tell you many people don't know why things don't work especially for ladies it's not because you are ladies and it's not because you are bad it's because many ladies are spiritually ignorant of what they represent in the realm of the spirit a lady is not just another human being who is not a man no it's more than that a lady is the chiefest point of entrance even among men that's why she has a womb the only lady who a lady is a gate in the realm of the spirit it's not just a human being keep your hands lifted that's why demons look for them that's why spirits look for them that's why altars speak against them it may not be caused by you but I'm praying for you keep your hands lifted you may not understand what is happening Lord Jesus I'm praying now that any one of our sisters here whose family and destiny is under siege Shaka's I'm declaring anyone who made a covenant with the earth for your destiny anyone who passed through fire to make a covenant with your destiny in the name that is above all names I decree and declare upon every lady now be free in the name of Jesus be free in the name of Jesus from those yokes those yokes that cause fibroid those yokes that cause fibroid those yokes that cause lungs around your body those lungs those barrenness I cause it by the God of heaven I cause it by the God of heaven hallelujah I'm seeing 11 ladies the Lord is opening my eyes listen now I'm seeing rings on all their ten fingers and this is a very serious demonic case and the Lord wants to set them free now you will not know it is not something you know one of you used to see it physically you see rings on your hands in the name of Jesus 11 people ladies especially I'm praying now some are inside some are outside doesn't matter where you are the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands Lord I pray whoever came into this meeting whether online offline and belongs to that category in the name of Jesus as I'm praying now I command I'm praying now the fire will fall on certain people 11 in all I see Lord let it be right now I, I break that marriage I break that spiritual marriage I break that spiritual marriage my God my God my God my God I break that spiritual marriage there's one of them you should have married but this is what stops everybody that comes around you I command it broken right now 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 hallelujah a time is gone the Lord is asking me to minister to someone here somebody comes to you in the night physically I'm not talking of vision physically you feel somebody lying down around your bed sometimes sleeping with you you are feeling it this is not guesswork this is something you know is happening wherever that person is right now in Jesus name I stretch my hands there is no escape in the name of Jesus whether inside or outside you are in this category now I command judgment judgment on any strange spirit judgment on any stranger judgment on any stranger in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah praise the Lord I don't know but we're rounding up please just just be patient with me 
I'm hearing in my spirit Yoruba people Yoruba people there is there is something a deliverance that God is bringing now to Yoruba people you know how God acts as I'm speaking now everyone associated with that territory I place the word of God now in the name of Jesus let that sword of deliverance I command that double-edged sword to locate everyone from the southwestern part now who is in need of territorial deliverance I command it now inside and outside in the name of Jesus no escape no escape for any power of darkness every mark of disfavor that is on anyone's life here you watch what happens to your life from this meeting anyone carrying any mark of disfavor where men should bless you something about you becomes an irritation I command that mark to be erased from your life now I command that mark to be erased from your life now I command that mark to be erased from your life now I command that mark to be erased from your life now I command that mark to be erased from your life now I'm watching what is happening from the spirit realm not the physical realm when you see me keep praying is because God is doing something I command that mark to be erased from your life now I say it again I command that mysterious mark to be erased from your life right now anyone here who has any member of your family that has refused to give birth they have tried and tried and the devil would just not let them have a child either she will not take in completely or she would take in and then mysteriously lose the child or the man will not be able to get her pregnant i don't care what situation but please even if you are not the one standing for them i'm praying distance is no barrier i stretch my hands now and i decree by the altar of prayer we authorize angelic assistance to those people right now we authorize angelic assistance right now hear me it was an angel that came to assist mary to get pregnant he showed up and said i was sent your own is to just agree and she said be it unto me and she got pregnant i declare and declare that any manifestation and encounter that they need to go through to have their child i command it to happen now in the name of jesus there is a possibility for restoration but what is the key that is attached I am passionate about revealing to believers the mysteries that are responsible for causing spiritual realities to become their experience. Just like shortly we are going to be celebrating the victory, miracles upon miracles. But the issue is not just an anointed man. The issue is that underlying these miracles and testimonies and the manifestations of the grace and the power of God are vessels that have aligned themselves through understanding. You see, most of us, um, the theology about faith, listen carefully, the theology about faith that is being communicated as powerful as it is may limit us from walking in the experience of the power 
power the grace and the revelation of all that is contained in God faith is not just believing unseen things um, they don't have to be unseen faith is not just believing unseen things so that they will manifest that's a dimension of it but faith listen true bible faith the foundation for true bible faith starts with an encounter an encounter without an encounter you will not have true bible faith an encounter is not a vision an encounter is an experience that is initiated by the holy spirit that causes a spiritual truth a reality the reality of a scripture to be crystallized in your heart the end of an encounter is conviction the end of an encounter is conviction You'll never be able to walk in a dimension where you are guessing and hoping and wondering. No, sir. Encounters are necessary for believers. That's why the Holy Spirit was given to us. The spirit of truth. Are we together now? So he introduces encounters in our lives. You can read the bible and quote a scripture it doesn't mean you've had an encounter with that scripture you may even learn it and know it of heart sincerely speaking it has not been released in your heart but when the holy ghost breathes upon it it does something to you and that scripture comes alive it's called an encounter occasionally it may be backed up by visionary experiences to strengthen your conviction but the end of encounters is that you get to a point of persuasion unbending resolve persuasion about the possibility of god as far as that matter is concerned are we blessed second timothy please chapter 1 and verse 12 let's look at second timothy 1 verse 12 the b part second timothy chapter 1 and verse 12 The B part says, For I know whom I have believed. Everybody say, I know whom I have believed. Now, you went to school, understand that construction. It didn't say, I have believed. Uh -uh. I know whom. So it's talking about a person first. I had an encounter, and that encounter caused me to believe that person and everything that proceeds from him. Are we together now? And then he says, And I am persuaded that he that person i've had an encounter with is able 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 an understanding of a man's ability an understanding of god's ability i have had an encounter with him i have had an encounter with his word so when i read and he says they shall lay hands on the sick it's not just story it's not just religion this is the foundation of true bible faith so there are no options in it again you know that it is within his power to change my situation you don't say well lord i will try you let me hope that you will work today if you don't work no 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 there is a level a level of resilience you see the depth of your encounter determines the strength of your convictions the depth of your encounter determines the strength of your convictions it's obvious from the way we live and act as believers that there is a void there is a lapse in conviction and this is a product of um the haze that is around our encounters with the word of god not the reading of it not the memory of it but that there is a gap it is obvious if i look at this gentleman right now and i tell you do you know you are sitting on the ground he's not going to pray about it he knows he's sitting on a seat are we together he's had an encounter with that seat his his even his physical senses have have responded to that reality he knows he's sitting no matter how i try to sway him he has entered a dimension of resolve he knows he's sitting on a seat if i tell him this seat is going to break he says no not just that i, I have seen the dimensions i understand the strength of this seat it can take my weight listen God allows you to vet him and probe him until you find him worth your trust. God does not get angry when you ask him questions that lead to your faith being strengthened. Uh -uh. 
Mary said, how shall these things be, seeing that I know not a man? And the angel took out time to explain. This is how it will happen. Gideon said, Lord, you are sending me to go and fight the Midianites. I need to stand with conviction. I know those guys. They are fierce. And so is it okay if I ask for a sign? It is powerful to stay with God until you are convinced. I know that there are people here, pastors who have come from several places. Let me challenge you. Do not make boastful statements until they come from the strength of an encounter. It will destroy your life. You will destroy your ministry. You will lack explanations. You will schedule a season of untold suspicion in your life. I always say never stand before Pharaoh until you have seen the burning bush. Say encounters. Bible faith starts with encounters. Encounters produce convictions. Convictions now allow you to act and take steps. It is that step that is called faith. Hello? Believing is not faith. Believing is part of the process that leads to faith. Faith is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction of who God is and the integrity of his word. That's faith. Until action is taken, there is no faith. Are we together now? I've always given this example. Um, let me use you, John. Hold on. I'm going to stand there. Stand there. Just stand there. I'm going to call John. I want you to answer me, but don't come. Is that all right? John, come. Say, I'm coming. Has he come? So as far as I'm concerned, you have not obeyed me. Because this should be the reward for your obedience. Now, you have answered that you are coming. But you have not come. I interpret your not coming as a sign that you, you are expressing concern about my reliability. You are wondering if I really have this. But if I say, John, come and you come. Come. That step of faith puts pressure on my integrity. If I am joking, I better found a way of correcting it. Are we together now? Yes. The Bible tells us in Acts chapter 4, listen. The Bible says that one time they were going at the hour of prayer. And then the Bible says that they saw a man who was crippled. Now, they were not stupid. That man was crippled. If you've seen a crippled man, you know that there are no strength in his limbs. Even if he stands, you know that he would take the grace of God. And then the Bible says that he was calling on them to give him arms. And then Peter said, silver and gold have I none. He said, but such as I have. Listen, I give unto you. He says, in the name of Jesus, I come under an authority. I represent a government and I invoke the power that backs that government. And I ask you, if you believe, stand. The Bible says the man was still looking at them. Now, I hope you know the Holy Ghost was already hovering with all his possibilities. But at the mercy of a man who has not manifested faith. And then the Bible says Peter had to help him. Hold my hands. The Bible says Peter held his hands and he leaping, leaping. The power is released at the point of action. It is the action that makes it faith. Not the determination to act. The determination to act helps you to eventually manifest faith. But the faith is only when action is taken. He leaping stood. He leaping stood he would have remained there forever he leaping stood are we together now yes so when 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 you hear the word of god you see this is why the dispensing of the word of god is so important because faith is based on a basis and the basis is not good word. The basis is not good intention. A nice positive statement cannot give you faith. It does not have the capacity to release that. God is only committed to backing what is his word. Are we together now? If it is not consistent with his character and it is not his word, there is no platform. You may act, but you are not acting upon the word. You are acting upon an information. So the word of God comes. And then you hear that word. Listen, like you are hearing right now. And you believe. And the Holy Ghost helps your unbelief. 
he supplies to you that grace and that enablement number one to consider that god is able it is within his power to create scenarios around your mind and your spirit that strengthens your conviction he can remind you and say lest you doubt have you forgotten that january this year something was about to happen and all of these anchors together to build your faith because a response will be needed shortly from you and that response must be on its on the standpoint of conviction everybody say conviction how do you look at someone who is barring and tell the person go it takes a while for pregnancy to show and that woman believes it's not when she meets with her husband that she gets pregnant no the husband only gives the word manifestation right and she leaves or you are seeing someone like some of you are sick now and then when it's time to say be healed all of a sudden how do you explain someone having a lump or a growth or a cancer and at the speed a fraction of a second is gone brothers and sisters that's what faith does i want you to believe this the bible says this is the victory this is the system where we believers command victory as an experience by engaging their encounters produce persuasion lord you are not a joker lord you believe I, I believe you your word is true your word is real you are you are not trying to flatter me you gave jesus christ that would not be a joke on the cross and on the strength of that lord i am willing to act listen the final step is action but not blind action it has to be the action required by god this is where we miss it again are we together confession is a generic action that ought, it is the manifestation of the spirit of faith the bible says we having the same spirit of faith as it is written i believe and therefore i speak so we believe and therefore we speak are we together speaking is a generic action but there are many possibilities we want to produce in our lives that require actions that must be added in addition to speaking for instance the action that is required for your heavens to be open is that you bring before the Lord your tithe. Are we together now? No matter how much you confess your heavens opening, you must take that action. And if you take that action not believing, you just dropped money. You drop 10% of an amount. It's not a charm. The power is released through understanding. I am coming because I have an understanding. I have a comprehension of what I am doing. And Lord, I thank you because you are my high priest standing in heaven. Hebrews 7 and verse 8, the Bible says, Here on earth men gave tithes, but in heaven he received them. Talking about the system with which God performs that function of his office that is in the order of Melchizedek. Right? Like he received the tithe of Abraham and spoke a blessing upon Abraham. So he, our Melchizedek, our high priest, receives that tithe and authorizes that the heavens be open and that the blessing is activated on our lives. But that will never happen just by dropping money. It's not about the money. There is an understanding. So your tithing is the specific action that is tied to that open heavens. Are we together now? you pray and fast it is spiritual but it will not replace the action wherewith that result was tied to so it is important that we have understanding to know what action has been defined by god's wisdom that is tied to the outcome we desire are we together one time jesus prayed for someone who was blind and the bible says in this case he spat on the ground and then made sputum out of it and put it in his eyes and said go wash at the pool called Siloam that is sent now that was the action if that man turned and started praising God and danced there for one day he would never be open he the eyes would not be open he was taking action but the action was not the one required are we together now Mary understood this and said whatever he tells you to do do not whatever you think he wants to be done so it is important that you find out what is the system of this partnership as far as this is concerned 
I want multiplication. I want increase. Is it a possibility in God? Yes, it is. Now I believe it. But what is the system tied? What does God require that a man do as a symbol of his partnership with him to actualize that dimension of reality? We must find out. So when we search scripture, we are not just trying to know. We are finding our place of partnership in scripture. When you find it, then you rejoice because you have found the key to committing God. This, that action is what we call faith. And the Bible says it is the victory that overcomes. Hmm. The victory that overcomes. So what is the key to your healing? The Bible says they came to hear and to be healed. There is no healing when the word does not come for that. And when the word of God comes, the power of God is present to heal. And then the word comes. But when the word comes, it does not heal you automatically. The word comes and somewhere along the line, it produces conviction. After conviction, the word will compel obedience. Either through an instruction or whatever it is. There are conditions for reception. When you come for a meeting like this, there is a condition to receive. Number one is to believe in the Lord. Number two is to believe the vessel he will use. Believing the Lord alone will not give you a miracle. No, sir. It will always come from God through men to you. Are we together? Jesus went to certain cities and the Bible says he could not do mighty works. That was not the limitation of his power. It was not the limitation of his spirit. But the inaccurate understanding of the people to create an alignment that can afford him to move in the dimension that they desire. Tonight, listen. Ladies and gentlemen, God did not gather us here to waste our time. It is within his power to change our lives. It is within his power to wipe our tears. Are we together now? Seated here tonight are people who truly, truly require all kinds of miracles. There are people here to resuscitate their spiritual life. It's like, it's like, it's like a man in ICU. A lot has gone haywire. The prayer life, spiritual life, and you're trusting God that there be a true encounter that refires your love for God. You must understand the object of your desire. And you must understand the system that helps you achieve that miracle. There are people here tonight in response to delay and stagnation. Nothing seems to work. Nothing. It is a bit comforting if other doors open and others are closed. It will inspire you to trust that others. But it's a terrible thing when all doors in your life close. Family closed. Finances closed your body everything closed there are people here because of an acute state of limitation invisible barriers around your life limitation is not retardation limitation is that a a mark has been created that you cannot cross so you rise and you get to a certain place and there is something that pegs you at that level and you never rise I watch it all the time pastors leaders business people individuals helplessly limited sincere but they are limited tonight the God I serve will take that limit away there are people here with sicknesses diseases infirmities real sicknesses Probably with death sentences from different medical hospitals. And um, maybe they've told you you have a few months to live. You have a few weeks to live. Now, and of course, we have a lot of doctors here. I respect their opinion. That's their opinion. is their educated opinion. But tonight, whose report will you believe? I believe in Jesus. I believe in his words. There are people here with all kinds of marital and family issues. Husband is about to go. Wife is about to go. Children are haywire and they are trusting Lord would you give us order. Of course it is within his power 
to bring sanity and order i mentioned these things to build your faith to help you know that your situation is within the scope of god's understanding and he can deal with it because sometimes we stay so long in the decadence of our situations that we wonder if god is aware that such a thing can happen to men let me tell you the god we serve is all knowing all knowing and it is within his power to solve that problem tonight there are people here with all kinds of barrenness all kinds biological barrenness and all sorts of unfruitfulness in different areas probably trusting god for children and all of that i came back from abuja um, in the course of the week and um, when I went there I was I was counseling a few people and then I saw a young lady I think a, a couple or so I can't remember exactly and they were excited the last time I was there the woman the lady had been they'd been trusting God for a child all kinds of funny medical reports you know she had something in her womb her tubes I don't know what what they gave all kinds of stories and there she had given birth you know to a very bouncing healthy a child and she was telling me the news and laughing listen be careful what you believe it is within your power to choose what you believe nothing forces itself on you you can choose this is a wonderful thing this is a fact but i choose to reject it it's a choice anything that is not consistent with the counsel of god it is within your power to choose to reject it are we together there are people here under all kinds of academic and career challenges no job no lifting all kinds of strange occurrences that are not consistent with god's desire how about demonic patterns mysterious occurrences in the lives of people patterns that you cannot account for god wants to step in there are people here and I believe this probably affects a lot of people, especially with the recession. The reality of lack and poverty. Lord, what is the way out? Lord, what is the way out? I can't keep struggling from hand to mouth. We've shared extensively. There are all kinds of teachings about the economic system of the kingdom. And I would plead that you get those teachings. They are free. Because when it comes to prosperity, the gospel has to be taught. There is an understanding that must be built in your mind. Now God can give you breakthrough as a communication of his might and mercy. But you are never established financially through breakthrough. It will take an understanding to build a system that lifts you out of the realm and the grip of poverty forever. Say amen. amen. There are people here trusting God for direction. You have come confused not knowing what to do. You thought you had God but right now you are in the middle of total confusion and God must speak for you. I want to welcome you because in his presence there is direction. And finally all of these are lists that the spirit of God was just writing out for me as I I mean just stating out as I I, I wrote them out. And lastly, there are people here trusting God for very strong impartations. What is an impartation? A transference of possibilities. Transference of possibilities. Impartation is as real as the chair you are sitting on. You can transfer possibilities. Possibilities also come with the alignment that makes those dimensions of the anointing function freely transference of possibilities see the thing with the anointing is if it is there it is there if it is not there it is not there it's as simple as that if you are not sure it is not there it's like a woman who is pregnant for a while she may doubt if she's pregnant or not but the time comes it becomes very clear very obvious regardless of where your request falls in this i want you to know that the god of heaven who has gathered us tonight will visit you and give you testimonies it's going to be a very quick walk tonight the lord is going to be healing the sick the lord is going to be setting the captives free and like i told us last week it is also an anointing service and i don't i don't do anointing services carelessly but there are instructions that god gave me the anointing oil that will be used tonight the lord asked me it's been with me since uh, i think yesterday i prayed with it all through until um, it was only this morning while I was coming that I carried it and brought it. There is a heavy grace. Oil does not anoint. The oil has to be anointed itself by a, a vessel who is anointed. 
nothing is anointed on its own it has to be anointed to become a platform are we together now tonight what is your responsibility be convicted be persuaded that god is able all that has happened before now the prayers the testimonies and all of that is to build your faith some of you are coming here for the first time you've heard about the miracles many of you have a cynical attitude of doubting men of god everybody you see walking in unusual dimensions of the anointing we have joined naysayers around town to think everybody is fake everybody is a devil everybody is using charm you know i humorously said it last week uh, even if you use charm the condition to carry the kind of power you see even through a charm is a condition that you have to think twice people just say it as if you just collect a charm and put it in your pocket no sir God gave gifts to men the gifts are not talents the gifts are people he anointed people by his predetermined counsel so that they can be platforms to be able to communicate his possibilities to people i'm honored every time i have the opportunity to minister there are people streaming from all over the world with different issues several nations at least 47 or so nations of the world if i'm not mistaken connecting and god cannot be joking he's not playing games with us are we together everybody say i believe say lord tonight i believe you i know you are able and i trust you to step in in the name of jesus it will be for you like day and night just all of a sudden you will find out that that door that has been closed maybe forever listen it doesn't take time time is not in the equation i've taught you this time is never in the equation the anointing of the spirit is not a suggestion the anointing of the spirit is god's possibility at work in men that causes men to manifest results they were not born with are we together now we are talking about a dimension that is superior to any intelligence of men this is not some kind of superior science this is not superior spiritism we are talking of god showing up in the scene standing face to face with a man's barrier hallelujah i want you to be angry tonight and insist thank you and say lord that door must be open i was so touched and blessed during the prayer session have you experienced the reality of triumph i mean there are people here who whose testimonies have been tearsome tonight you can activate something that will make your six to eight hours spent here to be worth the while that you get up in the morning and within three days one door opens another door opens another dimension of encounter all of a sudden hunger all of a sudden you step back to your church and fire on the altar i mean just by stepping and people are rising up from wheelchairs and miracles signs and wonders you bless people you shake someone's hand and all through that day a door opens you introduce something i believe it i believe it the lord wants to turn you to literally be supernatural supernatural not just in this blind talk of supernatural that does not produce results literally that your life becomes a testament that they would look at you like they did Paul and Barnabas and they called them Zeus and Hermes, Greek gods because they, they discerned that this level of result cannot happen with men listen, believe it believe it brothers and sisters yokes are breakable causes are destroyable limitations are breakable are you hearing what I'm saying? sicknesses are healable anointings are impartable there is nothing that you desire don't make it look as though god is mising his power no he is able to stretch his hands and do mighty things but you must believe tonight we love ourselves but everybody is going to have to stand and contend and say lord i have seen a dimension of your grace but i must step into it lord i have seen a dimension of breakthrough and favor but it's not yet a reality in my life. Every high thing must come down. 
Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be you broken. The victor's you wear the victor's crown. Hold on. You overcome. You know why I started singing that song? I saw a crown. That's why I started singing it. Listen, you see, the way the Spirit of God works is that He reveals the dimension of God that He wants to make manifest in the midst of the people. Are we together now? That's why I raised that song. You need to learn how to partner with the supernatural. He shows you like a luring. This is the dimension. It's up to you to respond. Yeah, Lord, we receive the Spirit and the Bride telling the Word to come. The word has revealed his intention so the spirit communicates to the bride and the bride in partnership with the spirit says come come lord jesus come miracles come breakthroughs come deliverances come open doors come speed come speed loose chains loose bands god is a mighty god do not allow your situations diminish the power of god it doesn't take time the level of grace it takes to produce your results is available mm. it's available I've taught you that there are three dimensions for reception in the spirit number one is through encounters when you have an encounter something is deposited into you number two by obedience to principles there is a dimension of god's power that is deposited in principles whether a believer or a non-believer whoever activates those principles that dimension of his power is released immediately like the power of seed time and harvest is not for christians a dimension of god's power was encapsulated in that principle but the third dimension of reception is alignment through a man's covenant with god men have covenant with god not old and new their dealings with God have brought them to a point where God has vowed a vow on their behalf and you can stand upon the platform of their dealings with God and receive realities that your faith level cannot afford every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown you overcome you overcome Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Let me tell you something that happened yesterday. I didn't plan to share it, but but something happened. I was sleeping, and I had a dream. I thought it was a dream. Yesterday, now, while I was sleeping, I had a dream. And then because I had kept the jar of oil and I opened the cover and then I had a dream now you know I don't share so much of my encounters because there are all kinds of cynical people and I had the, a dream and then the Lord was telling me you know I should how I'm going to pray on the oil that later on we use to minister to you and then something strange happened I just opened my eyes and there was an angel standing at the door my door now now those those experiences are not strange to me you know but this was very unique he stood there and i looked and oil started coming out of my hand and the lord says i should put my hand on this jar this jar and i tell you i was surprised it would almost be maybe the quarter the size of a cup i just put my hand there and i was just praying in the spirit that was the instruction that god gave me gave me that instruction that's why i told you oil does not anoint there is an encounter there is an encounter are we together now there is an encounter and when it began to happen i was i was i was well i wasn't surprised but then when everything was done the angel never even said anything just at my door just stood there and was watching and when it was time i noticed of course my hands were still wet but it didn't seem to be flowing and that was it whether he went through the door went up i don't even know how he left and that was the end of it 
right from the time you know my boys that come to work for me i started sensing that there were going to be visitations of the spirit and i was hurrying up to dismiss them as soon as they left i just locked the door and i sat down and boom my room was full of god's presence and all of that and, and i i when i sat down my eyes were open and all of a sudden i saw gates gates opening like gates very strange gates opening but then i knew that god by that vision was telling me what among other things would happen in the meeting but most importantly what the anointing would do listen ladies and gentlemen the lord will bring breakthroughs in your life today that will surprise you you believe that rise up on your feet I want you to lift up your voice and pray one minute. You say, Father, I'm set for your visitation. My faith is alive and I believe you. Lift your voice and pray. My faith is alive. I believe you. Jabrandos katapracatalados. Encreto katalabrande secate pracatalabadash. Jabrete kate proscodo brandi gedibalash. Jabrendes cariada balada balada bosh. Mambroto sodo prakata barada balada balada. Lord, we receive. We receive. Hallelujah. We are going to be very fast. Tonight is a vigil. I know that, in fact, you can't believe how far time has gone. But I trust God for grace tonight. I want to see how God will grant me grace. And I'll be able to come out to all the overflows. All the overflows. One, two, three. By the grace of God. And He will grant us grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Please bring the three people now that the power of God comes. I'm seeing an angel walking and touching three people in here, all inside here now. Will you open up the gate? Open up the door Will you open up the gate Open up the door Open up the gate Open up the door. Open up the gate. Open up the door. Open up the gate. Open up the Open up the Open up the I'm going to pray for breakthrough now. Such a strange grace. Strange grace. Strange grace. There are people here who have been tied. It's time to release that grace for breakthrough. And I want you to bring them out. Please don't stop playing. Please, guys, we know this. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. Right now, at the count of three, let that breakthrough anointing right now begin to touch and change the lives of people. One, two, three. Take that breakthrough now. Take that breakthrough now. Bring them out. Shapatakata. Step into that dimension. Shake it, take it, take a box right at the back. I see the angels of the Lord bringing people into strange levels of breakthrough. Breakthrough. Shapatos kelataria. Mente kotos shotos. E prekete kaya. No limitation. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Breakthroughs. 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 By the power of the Holy Ghost. Breakthroughs. Shapos katalatosia. 
Never be the same. Never be the same. Lift your hands. I see a key hanging in the realm of the spirit. This is access. There are men right now. You are entering into dimensions of possibilities. Lift your hands. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. This is a baptism. Keys. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a bunch of keys. Lord Jesus, for your glory, let the closed door open at the count of three. One, two, three. The name that is above all names. Access in the realm of the spirit. Shapato sote lekata. I command access right now by the power of the Holy Ghost access to dimensions access to levels access to possibilities close doors opening the Lord showed me gates and I decree those gates are opening, 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 opening in the name of Jesus. Those gates are opening. No power stands against you tonight. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I decree and declare the opening of strange gates, the opening of strange gates. hallelujah hallelujah we are going to do a quick walk please clear this way for me there are two angels that stand before me now my left and my right and the Lord is asking me to pass round and come I will do that very quickly as I do that the Lord is going to be breaking chains and taking away limitations in the name of Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus miracles 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 by the power of the Holy Ghost supernatural miracles take them out in the name of jesus miracles in the name of jesus miracles 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 by the anointing of the holy ghost miracles in the name of jesus supernatural miracles i release you now i release you now i release you now I release you now. Step into anointings. Step into graces. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the spirit of the living God. There are chains I'm seeing on people's hands. Chains, 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 chains. Chains breaking now. Chains breaking now. Chains breaking now. Get ready. This road, I see chains, 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 chains. Let it break now. Let it break now in the name of Jesus. Let it break now, now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let it break now in the name of Jesus. Supernatural miracles, chains breaking in the name of Jesus. Chains breaking in the name of Jesus. Chains breaking in the name of Jesus. Chains breaking. Chains breaking. Chains breaking, chains breaking, breaking, breaking. Shado sotosh kalai, rakataka. Let it break now. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands here. I stretch my hands right now. Every chain, in the name of Jesus. This is a miracle service. I command that the chains are broken, 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 broken now, broken now. In the name of Jesus, broken, you can't stand it. That chain breaks now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. 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 The the Holy Ghost. I'm seeing the hand of the Lord, a wind of His Spirit coming here. Lord, what is happening here in the name of Jesus? 
and break it to Sedeleketa, Brata Soto Sopres Kea, and Brataya. I'm seeing someone being taken out of a pit, out of a pit, out of a pit. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, out of a pit, I proclaim it. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, and I decree and declare. I decree and declare captivity ended in the name of Jesus. Make a parato gotosh, leke teka ta prakato zotosh, embre teke teka ratosh. I'm seeing a ring in someone's finger. That demonic ring leaves now. That demonic ring leaves now. I see it by the Spirit. That demonic ring leaves now. I curse it by the God of heaven. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I see rings, rings. I curse it by the God of heaven. I curse it in the name of Jesus. Can I go out? Those outside, I want you to get ready. There is an anointing. There is an anointing. The Lord is saying I should stretch my hands here. This media place in the name of Jesus. Those here, I want you to lift your hands. No matter where you are, no matter where you are, I want you to believe. As soon as I pass here, no matter what the issue is, the hand of God is about to touch you. Thank you, Jesus. Right now, let there be miracles. Now, I pass this rose. Let there be miracles. Every strange spirit, now, be gone, be gone, be gone now. In the name of Jesus, be gone now. Every strange spirit, the Lord Jesus is in this place. The Lord Jesus is in this place. I stretch my hands now. Over, 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 over. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Over now. In the name of Jesus. Now, now, now. In the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Stand up. Stand up. In the name of Jesus. Hold the baby. Now, out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command that devil, Madam, look at me. The Lord is bringing you breakthrough now. I'm seeing you crying, and the Lord is saying, in your tears. I'm coming to you. I know you are far, but I will come to you. I stretch my hands now. In the name of Jesus, the anointing is taught some people here. I'm seeing like chains broken. Chains broken. Let it break right now. In the name of Jesus, out of him. in this young man be gone now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus out now out now out now out now be gone in the name of Jesus be gone in the name of Jesus be gone in the name of Jesus look at me my dear the Lord is saying I should tell you that your sins are over over in the name of Jesus. Over now. In the name of Jesus. Say no matter where you are, no matter how far, I want you to connect by faith. Look at me. Delay over your family ends now. Ends now in the name of Jesus Christ. Clear and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. There is a spirit in this. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone here. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord standing. There's someone here God wants to. Now. Declare. Where is that person? I cause that spirit now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me come to this tent overflow now. Lift your hands all of you. Lift your hands all of you. Lift your hands. Now. Listen. The Lord is giving me an instruction. All of you are, I don't know what overflow is this. Four now. Three. Overflow. Three. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. Something is going to happen right to the back. I'm seeing fire. One, two, 
three now 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 cause those spirits i release breakthroughs now in this overflow in the name of jesus to the back the name of the lord is a strong tower i'm seeing several of you inside pit now now come now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah who is ezekiel ezekiel i'm hearing a name ezekiel ezekiel hold on be careful please be careful ezekiel hallelujah ezekiel there is something God is touching you the first four rows inside inside the main building first four rows there's someone right now the power of God is touching first four rows inside Lord thank you let, let that person be touched now now first four rows inside God is bringing deliverance where is Ezekiel who is Ibo? You are the Ibo. Come. Where are you from? Huh? Okay. Anambra State. I want to pray for you. You believe that the Lord is going to. I see a lot of witchcraft in your family. And the Lord wants to set you free. Please, those of you outside, I don't, don't think because you are outside came out to show you that God is serious about your case. Don't think because you are standing, it means you are missing. No. Wherever you are, God can locate you. Are we together now? Salome, Salome, who is Salome? Someone outside here, Salome. I'm standing close to you, Salome, come, stand here. In the name of Jesus, I set you free and I set your family free right now. In the name of Jesus, hold on. It's two guys, lift your hands, two of you. An anointing is coming on two of you now. Lift your hands. These two gentlemen pray. Father, let them take of that anointing now. Drink of that grace. Drink of that fire. Step into a new dimension now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You are Salome. In the name of Jesus. Zonkua. Who is from Zonkua here? Zonkua or something. I'm hearing the Lord is asking me. We have a lot to do. We are going to be very fast because we'll soon pray for the sick now. So, Kua. Hallelujah. Please, don't, don't make this place rowdy. Where are you from? Hold on. Don't, don't cry. Don't cry. Are you sisters? You are sisters. There is a spirit of death in your family. Come. What, why are you crying? It's well. Things are not going. Everything is scattered. Okay, look at me look at me two of you shout jesus as loud as you can one to go that's the end of it lord i set them free help them under the anointing please there is somebody the spirit of the lord is ministering to me i don't know what god is people outside there is somebody around here want to prophesy to the person bring the person that's the person in the name of jesus christ I'm, I'm seeing a snake my god my god i'm seeing a not not this person i'm seeing a snake and the lord is saying even the lawful captives that's what the spirit of god is ministering to me please lift your hands those of you here someone has got to be free i'm lord that person right now i pray in the name of jesus let the hand of god come upon that person right now that person has to be free has to be has to be free in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus here it is is coming now I see like light coming on someone right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah I set you free now by the power of the Holy Spirit I set you free I'm ministering to people Kauna. Is there a name like that? Kauna. Is it Kauna or Kauna? Please to be fast. Kauna. Who is that? I'm, I'm going to this overflow now. 
Kauna. Is there someone like that? Please, I want you to open your mouth and say, Lord, I receive the breakthrough you are bringing. Lift your voice and begin to speak it. I receive it. I receive it. Oga, oh come. What do you do? Huh? Where? Do you do business? Why? I want to pray for you because I'm seeing God empowering you in business. Do you have an elder sister? I've seen a lady. This is a lady looking just like you. I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus. I took out time because of the massive deliverance that will happen here now, this very room. I'm walking here. Please hear me. There are mothers who what is going to happen to your children is going to come from your standing here now. So please release your faith. I want to pray. I want to pray for you. It ends. It's over now. In the name of Jesus, it's over by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'll walk into the front and then I'll come down. Jesus. Jesus. I'm going to start from the front there. Please just allow me to do my thing. Let's just do it very fast because we're going to pray for the sick. All these people lying shortly. I'm going to ask all of you to sit down. There anybody on a wheelchair or on a your stand up right now. When I ask you to stand, you will stand up and take away whatever you came with. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hold on. Um, my God. I'm going to pass and there is nothing special about me. It's just a communication, a channel for the Lord to touch you. Come. Um, the man. What is it you are holding? The Lord is saying, what are you looking for? You are looking for a job. Huh? And the Lord is saying, I should release a job to your life. You believe that? Receive your job now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands. Father, I pray, Spirit of the living God, that you will blow upon this place. As I pass this place, let no yoke, let no chain stand. In the name of Jesus. Them now, in the name of Jesus, I bring you life by the power of the Spirit, the life of the life of God by the power of the Spirit. This life right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, every darkness, every trace of darkness leaves, 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 leaves now, leaves now, 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 leaves now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Every trace of darkness must go now. In the name of Jesus Christ, must go now by the power of the Holy Ghost. It must go now. It must go now. Someone with pile is being healed now. Somewhere here. Someone with pile is being healed now. Someone with pile, you're going to feel like fire going through your body. We'll pray for the sick shortly. Be healed now. Fire is on your head. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a yoke of delay here. This road. Somebody, somebody has to be free now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let that delay be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let that delay be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. It's to a new level. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is renewing. 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 I hear renewal. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm standing in this row because the angel of the Lord is standing here and he wants to touch somebody right now. In the name of Jesus, let it be over. Let it be over by the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now. Please help them, my God. Let it be over. 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 My sister, you are praying and I'm hearing your prayer. Come, you are telling the Lord to visit you. I'm hearing your prayers in my ears and the Lord is saying I should, that he should give you a visitation. Who is this? My children. This is your husband? Yes, sir. Where is he? He's in Berlin. I want to pray for you. I don't like what I see. 
right the lord is going to set them free because i'm seeing everything is tied down for this family nothing is working yes, sir. is that true the lord is going to step in now at those states Edo State. I'm from Edo State. But the Spirit of God is showing me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying for you. Please. Father, let there be a miracle right now. I end it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I end it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God. Now, see this thing the Lord shows me all the time. Please, everybody lift your hands inside or outside. Lift your hands now. I'm seeing a map. I don't know why God always shows me this. I'm seeing a map and the spirit of the Lord through that map is taking me to Benway State. Now everyone from Benway State, get ready. The anointing of God comes upon you now. Benway State. Benway State. The Lord is setting people free. Benway State right now. Shekratos, Kalatos. Inside and outside. Benway State. Benway State. Inside, outside. Benway State. I see breakthroughs coming. Benway State anointings Mata Lakota is a sign and a wonder that the Lord does where he locates people by state locates people by state I'm praying now if you're in Benway State this unction is on you the work is on you inside my God I'm seeing people inside inside main auditorium breakthroughs 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 I'm hearing or to go or to go breakthroughs strange breakthroughs strange breakthroughs or to go Shakato Sekete, a great to Shala Mariata, Embrakato Shataya Lakosata. Jesus, there is power in the name of Jesus. There are miracles in the name of Jesus. There are breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Jacob. 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 You're, I'm standing close to you. and Your name is Jacob. Lift your hands. It's over now. Forever. Over. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the, there's somebody praying in this room. The power of God is coming on him now. Someone is praying a prayer. In the name of Jesus, you are stepping into a level. The spirit of wisdom is coming upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is it Asabe? Asabe. I'm hearing the name Asabe. Quickly, I want to see how God will grant us grace. This evening, there are so many sick people we have to pray for. Asabe. Is it Asabe? I'm hearing Asabe. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at me, my dear. Look at my eyes. My eyes. Look at my eyes. Break every chain. Break every chain. Visit our family, oh God. Once and for all. Let this be the season. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is from Enugu State? And no good state. Hold on, hold on, please don't fight yourselves. Madam, where are you from? I'm from Eni. And no good state. I'm going to pray for you. Choma. What? Choma. 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 I'm hearing a name, Choma. We're going to pray. Choma. You are inside. The Choma at the main auditorium. Choma, where are you? Give Jesus praise. I'm going to pray for you. Your name is Choma. What's your name? Choma. Name is Choma. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is set family free right now because this is one of your prayer requests. I'm looking at your prayer request in a vision. What did you say the Lord should? I'm seeing your prayer request on top of you, and I'm seeing that you are writing that God should bring breakthrough for your family. He will. He will. He will. We are talking about the Spirit of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Let it be over. My brother, stand up. Look at me. Your relationship with the Lord Jesus. Look at me. You love Jesus? I'm seeing your legs tied and I'm seeing snake of your legs down to your head. Your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ is where this will start from. Be free now. Out! In the name of Jesus, help him.
in the name of Jesus Christ. Where did you come from, my dear? You are from Isuka. In the name of Jesus Christ, hold my hands. Let it be over now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, let it be over now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing that map again. The Lord shows me Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna now. The power of God is looking to Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna inside and outside. You are from Southern Kaduna. I'm seeing the map of Kaduna State. And the Lord is touching people from that state right now. There are several people inside, ushers, different people. The Lord is touching people. Southern Kaduna. Miracles, miracles. I'm seeing like a, a, the cover. The cover of a well being opened in the name of Jesus. Let it be by the Spirit of the Living God. By the Spirit of the Living God. By the Spirit of the Living God. Let it end now. I stretch my hands to you. Let it end. Captivity must end in the name of Jesus Christ. Captivity must end now. Captivity must end. Captivity must end. Shada sete karotash. Embre kete shala pradosa stupiada. Shala prende keto prasada banana ba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm hearing Italy. Italy, a country, Italy. Who has a relative in Italy? You come. There is power. Please quickly. Who do you have in Italy? My elder sister. Where is she? She's in Italy. Have you heard from her? No, it has been long. There's a, there's a problem. I'm seeing that lady is in a serious problem. She needs a miracle. Did we discuss this with you? Yeah, she discussed it with my mom. I'm saying, did I discuss it with you? No, sir. She's in Italy. There is a serious problem. Huh? I'm seeing deportation. We have to pray for her. There is a serious issue. Not only deportation, but she's about to get into trouble. The Lord brings this thing so that he will set you free. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's what I was waiting for. In Jesus' name. There's somebody in front among the people lying down there. Um, I'm seeing the Lord touching their family. Lord, in the name of Jesus, let there be a miracle. Those of you coming for the first time, this is what happens in the miracle service. Is, is, these are not just miracles. They are called signs and wonders. They are operations of the Spirit. You can see me call a state and everybody on that, that state is under the influence of the Spirit. It's not so magic. These are operations. These are superior dimensions of the operation of the Spirit of the living God. I want to pray for the lady in Italy. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be a miracle right now. A miracle right now. Something is leaving you, even you who is standing. This has caused delay in your life. The Lord is about to give you speed. In the name of Jesus Christ, supernatural speed. The Lord ends captivity in your life. Let it end now. Captivity is ending by the Spirit and the power of God. Captivity is ending. Hallelujah. There is somebody inside here. I'm seeing a vision. You are a, you are a professional footballer. Come out. Something has tied you down. It's time for you to move up. Who is that? You are a footballer. That's why you came here. Who is that? Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Lord Jesus, we honor you. Leave her. I want to pray for her. Something is happening. That's why I'm standing. Look at me. Lord Jesus, let this oppression over her family end. In the name of Jesus Christ. The same thing happening to her is happening to someone right at the back. 
in the name of Jesus. You play football. Oh, this is your brother. From where? Somebody cheated you. We have to pray for you. Huh? Where do you want to travel to? I want to go to Europe. Huh? Europe. But you know that God has to take you to a clean way. Huh? If you want to smuggle your way and go to Europe, the devil would go and hijack your life and destroy you and they will throw you back. Do you understand? Because I see God lifting you in this career. The Lord is taking you very, very far. You believe that? Hold my hands. Lord Jesus, I bring him into this place. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be for you. You see, prophecy does not just reveal. Prophecy creates. We make things that have no business happening to happen. Are we together now? In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that the road is clear for you now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Seven months pregnant. There's a woman I need to pray for. Seven months pregnant. Seven months pregnant. Come. You're pregnant. How many months? Seven months. The Lord is telling me to take away CS. Hold my hands. Jesus. When are you due? Next month. September. You are due September. When? Do you know? You don't know. Anything from September 19th, get ready. Huh? In the name of Jesus, I hold you and I declare, I stop CS now by the power of the Holy Spirit. There is a problem with this baby, as I'm seeing. Is that true? Yes. I told you. This baby is not lying correctly and it's affecting you. If we don't pray, something will happen and you give birth to a dead baby. We correct it now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon you. I bring the life of Christ to you. In the name of Jesus, you will give birth normally by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for the sick now, but uh, who is this? You are pregnant? How many months? Seven months. Yes, sir. Have you gone to the hospital? Where's your husband? He's at home, sir. Husbands, husbands. They send their wives and stay back at home. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Put your hand on your stomach. God is going to give you a dream about the name of this child. Receive grace to name the child exactly what you see. Huh? Father, in the name of Jesus, let it be. In the name of Jesus, let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. We'll soon pray for the sick, but I want to do something. Look at me. This lady. Out of her now. I release the life of Jesus Christ and I curse the works of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ 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 in the name of Jesus Christ, name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing fire it's like it's looking for someone in this room this is something that has to do with someone's family in the name of Jesus Christ just this room because I'm seeing the Lord is revealing to me in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. The power of God will come upon whoever that person is. And that will end it right now. End it right now. Family. God is touching the families. In the name of Jesus. It is not by power. It's not by might. It's by the Spirit of God. It's not by power. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me someone's prayer request. Prayer point number one. Let my sister have a child. Who is that? Prayer point number one. You are wearing red. Break every chain. Break every chain. I hope you are not telling lies. What was your first prayer request? Let my sister and my brother have a baby. Where are they? They are in their various places. Your sister, how long has she been married? Going to three years. Did she have a child before? No. 
But my brother has. Did she take in before? No. Hmm. This person is wearing red. I will pray for you, but I'm seeing somebody wearing red. This is the person in the vision the Lord is showing me. Who is that? This is the person I saw, but I will pray with you. Listen, I want you to believe that no barren person, there is no need to go back without a child. It's, it's, there is not necessary. Hold on, I'm not just praying for barren people at random, but just let them come since they're here. We'll pray for people. We're about to pray for people now. We'll take our time to minister. The anointing is there. You see that even the vigils, sometimes you close your eyes and it's already morning. Praise the Lord. My friend, you love Jesus? Kai, please don't be embarrassed. I want to pray for somebody now. I'm seeing you standing and I want to pray. I know I always pray, but this guy smokes, uh, um, what they call that thing. But I know people smoke all kinds of things, but this guy, your own is acute. You are here, but truthfully speaking, you cannot help. You can take as much of that thing till it destroys you. I'm even seeing that you have some. I don't know whether it's at home. Please, who is that? Don't be embarrassed. The Lord wants to set you free. If you sit down, that's your, that's, that's for you. Whether you are inside, outside, make your way. Don't be ashamed. Just come out here. I want to pray for you now. My dear, I want you to call. Where are they? Who, who are you standing in for? Ladi Abuti. Huh? Ladi Abuti. You? No, You're the, my sister. Your sister. Okay, I want to pray. The person I'm talking about, please summon the courage to stand here. I want to pray for you. I want you to call her after this meeting and tell her to get ready. God is going to give her a baby boy. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you because your power is available to set the captives free. I decree and declare. Let it be right now. Establish it in Jesus' name. It's over now. You are the one who came. Come. We have to pray. Your brother, you said they are barren. I'm not seeing your brother barren. He has two children. How many two children? Hold on, let me talk to you. How many children? The first one was a miscarriage. Miscarriage? How many children are there now? The second one died like two weeks after. I'm seeing two children that is not a miscarriage. They were born, but they died. Children. Two children. Now it's, there's no child at all. The one they had died like weeks or so. How many weeks? Two weeks, Two weeks after birth. One and one day. And he just died. We have to pray. You understand? You, you're standing in for them and you believe God will help them. We have to pray. As you're praying for them, it will never be part of your life. You have no business with that thing. Somebody needs to come out. This wee wee thing. Who is the person? Let's celebrate him. Don't, don't feel bad. Hallelujah. He's your friend. He's your brother. He smokes this thing. He smokes a... Uh, huh? Do you love Jesus? You love Jesus? Yes, sir. I have to pray for him. My friend, how are you? Can you hear me? I can hear you. I have to pray for him. You see, the same thing the anointing, when you smoke this thing and when you are under the influence of the anointing it's exactly what happens when you smoke these leaves you see those leaves there is a lady come and join him i'm seeing a lady don't be embarrassed please jesus is setting you free there is a lady you can't help yourself this is not the issue of being good or bad please run boldly and come if you waste our time you just sit where you are one lady there is a lady this thing has destroyed not like you like it but you can't help it it comes upon you like an anointing and you have to come my dear let's pray we have to pray for the sick now in the name of jesus christ i agree with you i terminate the yoke of barrenness right now sister and brother in the name of jesus they take in now you're here for the same reason you're here for the same reason in the name of jesus you're standing for yourself your sister if i ask for people who have who want children except you are standing for somebody if you are standing for yourself 
make sure you are you have a husband or a wife praise god we, we are bible believers but we are not stupid people make sure you are married officially because i know that there are people who just live together um you don't you don't love god and then we have to stay of course god is merciful the spirit of god is not letting me rest over the lady that we are going to pray for in the name of jesus let there be miracles we're a family nobody looks down and embarrasses there's no condemnation here whatsoever we are here to help we are here to show you the mercies of god hold my hands my dear this is a lady ah no this is not how the person i'm talking about is here in this venue you are here you are not asleep you are awake you are hearing what i'm saying this lady is you understand barrenness okay. father in the name of jesus touch them in the name of jesus touch them hold on don't worry we are going to pray for the sick who is this why are you here madam please just be patient why is she here if it's not the case i mentioned um can i pray for you my friend you are the one who brought him where is he from he's, he's from he's at from me. State, sir. Eh? he's from benway state he's from benway state see how the guy yes, is staring sir. at me if he has his way he can eat and swallow me as if it's easy between you and me it's a long distance it's not what you are saying <laughs> <laughs> it's a very long distance stretch your hands and let's pray for this guy he's a nice person this this is what we we and co can do let's pray let's pray my friend don't worry we are praying for you eh? it's not just you stretch your hands saints of god you are anointed let's pray for him lord help this gentleman please i still insist this lady if god grants you grace in the name of jesus christ i pray for you we love you and in the name of jesus we pray for you sincerely by the compassion of the Christ, we pray for you that the power of this, this substance abuse is broken in your life. In the name of Jesus. Who is Rebecca? Rebecca. 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 I have to talk to that person quickly and then we will pray for the sick. You can't imagine how the time is gone. We are still going to anoint. It's already morning. Rebecca. Is there anyone? Huh? Sister. Your sister. I'll pray for you, but what's your name? What's your name? Rebecca. My dear. Come. Who is this? Rebecca. The lady that smokes this thing. This thing has depressed this lady and changed her. That's why I want to pray for you. What's your name? Rukaya. 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 Come. I love you. Eh? Come. You're a darling. We're not, we're not here to make you feel bad at all. Listen, let me tell you something. Huh? One of the keys to walking in the anointing is love. You don't love people, you will never walk in authentic power. When God reveals to you things about people's lives, it's not because you are better than them. Are we together now? The goal of this revelation is to extend the hand of God's love. This is a wonderful lady. You can see very lovely, beautiful lady that the devil wants to destroy. So every time words come like this or when we pray for people, this is a family of faith where everybody is a product of God's mercy and grace. Are we together, darling? I, I know that you may not like some of them. It may not even be bad friends. They just got into all of these things. And let me tell you, maturity does not deliver people from spirits. You can be growing older and still remain. You believe the Lord Jesus will help you? Hmm? Thank you. You've tried to stop this thing, Abby? Yes. And you try and it won't work? Yes. Problems keep coming up that I just can't stop. What do you take? I smoke, I take drugs, I drink. You drink? Yes. Please stretch your hands over this lady. Pray as if you are praying for your own daughter. Pray as if you are praying for your own child. Lord, have mercy on this dear lady. We refuse to leave her to the devil. We love her. 
pray some of you are looking at me pray with all your heart lord help this lady usually people take these things as a result of depression all kinds of challenges their lack of understanding the word of god their lack of encounter with the word of god is what produces this kind of devilish effect hallelujah look at me my dear you are my friend eh? don't cry you are my friend from today god will help you eh? say amen in the name of jesus christ eh? pastor alpha please eh? you will follow this lady just help her to stand strong some of these ladies it's just a combination of loneliness and then they meet all kinds of bad people by the way when when it's time to do the final prayer we're going to pray against these bad people around our community whose lives is to frustrate and destroy people there are many ladies here you want to love god and, and live for him but there are all these boys around that make it look like serving god is a waste of time and they keep distracting you and before you know it in the name of love in the name of relationship and, and in the name of wanting to marry you they derail you from the path of god anybody who must make you leave god to marry you is not an irresponsible person that prayer has already been answered the answer is no leave the person quickly don't say i'm waiting on god god is not a fool are we together so go and meet pastor alpha he will help you and eh? he will collect your details and your Rebecca, all of you, three of you, I cannot even remember why I asked you to come out, but let me pray for you. You are standing in for your sister. You love Jesus. Friends, eh? You love Jesus, but be careful so that, um, you know, your company matters as much as your work with God. The Lord will help you. Huh? In Jesus' name, over now in your life. Hold my hands in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is setting her free. I'm seeing something leaving her. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let her be free from it. That devil of darkness lets you go. Rebecca, the Lord is bringing you liberty in the name of Jesus. It's over now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I have to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, this favor is lifted from your life forever. In Jesus' name. Two of you are Rebecca. Your name. In the name of Jesus Christ, I agree with you. In the name of Jesus, I agree with you. Now, what's that a song? Gashinai, Gamuna, Sir King Aljana, Yana. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to pray on this now. You can imagine it's to five. Stretch your hands here. Let's pray. God is a miracle worker. The testimonies here is a revelation that God gave us and an instruction. And my God, what a joy to life. Stretch your hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Jabratos Kalabrende Geva Sarabakuria Takatash. Jabratos Sobredi Shikarata Stretch your hands in the name of Jesus. Mandala Kapratos Katavridish Kalabrania Kata. Unto you that answers prayers shall all flesh come. Are you praying? Father, we agree. We agree for miracles. We agree for we agree for wonders. Praise the Lord. Pray. We receive miracles. We receive signs. We receive wonders. In the name of Jesus. Lord, release miracles to families. Release signs, wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let impossible situations come under the influence of your spirit. Makotopa Shabradaka Sode Barato Sesiana Kosh. 
Agrata Gabarato go sobrendi ke de balato siada kata. Shapra kapara koto sobri ke dia. Rabadaga da balada koso sobri ada balada bosh. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we decree and declare, agree with me. Right now, let every impossible situation turn into a miracle right now. Lord, this is a representation of the cries and the desires of your people scattered around this place and many across the nations of the world. Lord, we agree that you are a miracle worker and we decree and declare that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. We decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. We decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. We decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. We decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. Visit the barren, heal the sick, deliver the oppressed, wipe the tears of your people by the power of your word. Let there be miracles. We release miracles, 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 miracles in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you. We thank you. We call it done in the name of Jesus Christ. We call it done in the name of Jesus Christ. We call it done in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now we're getting to the last phase. We're going to pray on this. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something about this oil you are seeing. It's, it's truly an oil of wonder. I spent uh, the night praying. No oil in itself is anointed. Please be careful. Don't hurt her. Don't. Ah, uh, hold on. <laughs> they are wondering what to do with her. My dear, be comfortable, okay? This your case is a very straightforward demonic case. Your bones are fine. Everything is fine. You've taken this. Just relax. Um, if she doesn't feel the strength to stand, don't force her. Or you can just guide her. Who brought her? How did she come? You carried her. Can you carry her? Are you that strong? This is night vigil. Okay, take her. Gradually. You try to walk to where? Well, while they are carrying you. Please, when you keep her exercise, there's no reason, oh dear, there's no reason why this lady should go back crippled, honestly speaking. It's not that her bones are broken, just all these demonic things. So I was talking about this oil. Um, there is a ritual when people begin to idolize things, oil, water, handkerchiefs, aprons, um, um, stickers, banners. They lose the life in it. Religion is a very terrible thing. It's important you do things according to the word of God and as directed by the Holy Spirit. Last week was an anointing service for favor and um, we're going to name this one now and then we'll pour it and then we'll have um, our anoint these guys and then we'll do it very quickly. Whilst we're doing that, please, the moment you come, touch the anointing oil on your head, please and please, we'll make it very fast. You can see that it's already five o'clock. It's almost as if um, it was not a vigil. <laughs> Praise God. Father, we give you all the praise. I lift up this jar of oil. And in the name of Jesus Christ, we call it an oil of breakthrough. Amen. Say amen. We decree and declare. Amen. Let this oil be a symbol of supernatural breakthrough. The supernatural oil that came from my hands that was added to this i pray that the mystery of breakthrough that this represents as it comes upon you let there be strange signs and wonders in the name of jesus let this provoke angelic visitations in the name of jesus christ and let this cause the holy spirit to move in your life in a mighty way the Bible says the spirit of the Lord is upon me and the reason why he's upon me is because I was anointed in the name of Jesus may the anointing attract dimensions of the operations of the spirit in the name of Jesus we dedicate this 
I command this oil to lose its earthly significance and to take on the significance of a mystery in the realm of the spirit representing breakthrough at the same time let this be an oil of judgment in the name of Jesus Christ let this be an oil of judgment by the power of the Holy Spirit God's ability God's ability is working in me hallelujah we have to say it. Father in the name of Jesus I thank you I'm anointing you so that you will stand and as I lay my hands I pray that this grace of breakthrough and favor will start from you first I want you to believe it this is an oil that will bring supernatural breakthrough in your own life supernatural grace supernatural grace supernatural grace the anointing of the Holy Ghost in fresh dimensions in the name of Jesus that grace that anointing that grace that anointing that grace that anointing in the name of Jesus Christ okay so you can give it to them father we decree and declare this is an oil of supernatural breakthrough I can always add please quickly station yourselves we are going to be praying all through as soon as as soon as the oil touches you please I want you to begin to pray worship team you give us uh, okay just play the instruments we'll just begin to pray in the spirit everyone praying in the spirit as the oil comes upon you begin to declare speak forth release your faith lord we decree and declare right now let miracles begin let signs and wonders and breakthroughs begin in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus you can stand here okay thank you jesus go ahead as soon as you touch the oil begin to prophesy in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare the word of the lord becomes my testimony the oil is anointed please quickly 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 make sure everyone is anointed make sure everyone is anointed young old Please keep standing everybody. It's morning already. I want to make an altar call quickly. Our time is up. It's just two minutes to six. Please keep standing. No moving around inside, outside. There are people here. You have seen the power of God. You have seen the grace of God. And you are saying, Apostle, if you will pray for me, I'm ready to hand my life over to God like the dear lady who came out. Um, and many other people I know that it is morning but it should not rob you the greatest miracle literally and truthfully is an encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ wherever you are you are inside you are outside any of the overflows online you are following and you are saying man of God I want you to pray with me and at the same time there are people you have given your heart to the Lord but things happen around your life your life went haywire and you need your sin I, I cannot go back the way I came I want to have this restoration this encounter I'm rededicating my life to Jesus wherever you are please we have just two minutes for you inside outside please clear the way for them make sure you don't discourage them let's appreciate them as they come wherever you are God bless you make your way to the front are you appreciating them they are coming please run run quickly inside outside if you're coming i want you to run god bless you god bless you clap hands for them they are coming god bless you koinonia is this the best you can do keep coming don't let anyone stop you if you are joining them please come quickly clear the way for them overflow one two three and then the fourth one those online connect with us i'm about to lead them a very special prayer very special prayer thank you so much ladies and gentlemen i want you to lift your right hand and pray this after me sincerely from your heart say after me lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god tonight come join them quickly tonight you're coming from outside quickly 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 join them join them let's be very fast let's be very fast quickly Say after me, all of you standing here, say, Lord Jesus, I believe in you, that you are the Son of God. 
I ask you to cleanse me, forgive my sins. I believe you, ra you were raised from the dead and now you are alive. I receive eternal life into my spirit and I declare by the authority of scripture that I'm a child of God. I decree and declare that the grace to live a victorious life is given to me right now. I go forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus. Keep your hands lifted. Jesus, we present to you the ones you died for and we decree and declare that this will begin the beginning of a great journey in their lives. I, I declare that your sins are forgiven. I command that the power of sin, the power of flesh, the power of Satan is broken over your life in the name of Jesus. You go from glory to glory in Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Now very quickly, I want you, there's a gentleman waving his hands. I want you to follow him quickly. They welcome you more warmly on our behalf and communicate a few details to you. God bless you. believe you have been blessed by this message. For additional information, you can visit us on Facebook on www.facebook.com slash Koinonia Parenting Network International or follow us on Twitter www.twitter.com slash Koinonia underscore ENI. You can also download our messages on www.foreshared.com Parenting Network International, duplicating the coronavirus of God's life on earth. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salman. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.